What's going on, everybody? Wolf Daddy TTV is in the house. What's up? How's it going? Hope you guys all missed me. It's been uh, about, what, like 14, 16, 17, 18 hours, something like that. And the last time that we all hung out together, we were watching some demented, some demented ass stuff, man. It was, you know... I, I realize I must be severely demented as I am not uh, terrified of any of these videos that we've watched, nor will I be terrified of any of the videos that we will watch today. But, you know, it's always a bloody good time. Oh my God, he said the title. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, anyways, I'm glad to have all of you here. Let's move this over a little bit so it's like not right in my face. I know that you guys want to see my pretty eyeballs behind the glare of my glasses. So let's make sure I deliver on that. Look at these eyeballs. Those are some good looking eyeballs, man. I got good looking balls in my eyes. Anyways, let's uh, move on from that and say hello to anybody that's in. Nextro Geo, what's up, bro? Thank you for joining us. I, I forgot to look up how to say that. What was the name of the guy that I had to look up so that I could say that properly again? Remind me, please. All right. So, um, I've got some picture, I, or I've got some videos already lined up for today's viewing pleasure. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six videos. I think that from now on, I'm going to be doing a series of five to six videos that we will review so that way I don't go over that time frame like I did yesterday. Oh my God, it was so late when we got done. I had such a hard time waking up for work this morning and we lose an hour today, right? Because, uh, or tomorrow because it's daylight savings in. So yeah, um, Ronaldo, that's right. What's up, man? Told you I'd be back. I will have to go in a bit, though. Yo, Austin200930, thanks for joining us again. I'm glad that you came back. You know, there's a lot of people that say they're going to come back, and then you never see them again, so I'm glad that you came back. Thanks you, uh, thank you for, for joining us. Gaming with Ninja Nick. What's up, bro? Glad to have you as well. How are you? Did you, did you sleep well? Did you have a good night, or did you have terrifying dreams? Hmm, I hope the latter. Um, <laughs> I mean, I personally like scary dreams. I had a scary dream last night, and I thought it was exciting. Um, but I'm weird, you know? I'm weird. I like stuff like that. It's like Halloween ends, but it continues to go 365 days of the year for me, just without the costume. <laughs> and I slept good. So what are we watching today? So we have six videos. We have Marlette Street scary short horror film 2021 and this will be by burnt mill road with 10.1 thousand subscribers and 2733 views we second after that we have sweet dreams it's a horror short film 53,054 views and 484,000 subscribers by ca cox 97 um, and then third in the lineup we have a halloween horror story short horror film 25,068 views premiered october 6th and that's by ACM Official. We watched an ACM Official yesterday. Um, let's see if this one lives up to the hype. I, it wasn't that bad. ACM Official is not too bad. So I'm 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 excited to see. Um, I think it's uh, it's Alex Magania is his name. Alex, is that, am I right? Let me double check here. Um, he's somewhere around here. His name's in here somewhere. At least it, if it's not on this one, it was here. We go. Yeah, Alex Alex Magania. He's the writer director. He's the he's the head honcho. He's the main cheese. Um, so that's uh, Alex Magania official. It's it's a good channel. They have some really good or he has some really good stuff. Um, then we have Happy Halloween because you know Halloween might be done, but it is not over for me. Um, so we're gonna watch another Halloween uh, short. This one has thirty seven thousand views and uh, well versed entertainment with only three hundred and sixteen subscribers. So you know just barely has more than I do. But you know I would. I would like to see how this goes. I like giving these these small timers a run. Um, and then, then we have They Hear It. It's a horror short film. If you notice, the trend is all of these have been recently released. This one's by Julian Terry with 44,000 subscribers. And then the one that comes from the smallest uh, 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 channel here, even smaller than mine, is Dark Creeds Productions with 123 subscribers. Um, and with this one, they've had 6,981 views, but I kind of cheated on this one. I watched a little bit of it and I got to say this one is the one I'm most excited for. So this one will be last. 
Um, so that is our lineup for the day. In fact, if you guys are watching me on YouTube and you go to the description, you will see all of the videos listed, uh, all the links, everything you need to go visit these guys and show them the love that they deserve if they've earned it. Um, so today I, ha I don't have it, but we are going to start doing a review sheet. I'm going to build up a review chart. And as we go through our reviews, we're, we're going to rate these videos. We're going to have points on which we're going to rate each video with. With, and then we're gonna we're gonna organize them as to which one was the best for that night and which one was the uh, well you know worst so we'll uh, we'll get there I'll, I'll make sure to get that drawn up for you guys this week and basically I'm thinking every day we're gonna go through a series of three to five videos and then I'm gonna try to cut them up and put them on YouTube so make sure to go hit up my YouTube channel if you haven't already um, let me drop a link for you guys to my channel actually for those of you um, that are on Trovo I'm gonna I mean on uh, omelet I'm gonna go ahead and send you over a link to my YouTube if you don't already have have it you should have it because you know wh what's the what's the point of not being on my youtube already i, I need i need friends um so i'm gonna go ahead and drop that right right meow and you guys decide what you want to do with it uh, <laughs> say sweet sweet <laughs> dude anytime anytime i hear that all i think is deliverance i'm not gonna lie um but i'll look up the other one okay so uh let's take a look at my other chats all right, seems cool. I know I won't sleep today for a fact. <laughs> Good. Then I will, um, I will have accomplished my objective in life, which is to terrify people. Yay! Actually, it is to be uplifting, but I guess right now it's to terrify people. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. I've got the uh, I've got the link dropped for my YouTube. Make sure to check it out, you guys. It helps me a lot if you guys are subscribing and watching me on my YouTube. Now, remember, these guys have to earn my subscription. They have to earn your subscription. It's got to be good. It's got to be scary. It's got to be well shot. And the story can't have plot holes as big as a freaking space station. You know, like they've got to you've got to have plot holes so tight you couldn't even get a hair through a needle. Right. Um, but we're going to see if these guys will live up to it today. Uh, when you search up Ronaldo saying sweet, you are going to see such a big difference from how you say it. Well, yeah, probably, because the way I say it comes from uh, a really, really bad movie. <laughs> I mean, it's a really good movie, but there's some really, let's just say uh, that scene specifically where they say that is not a good scene. Aiden Visao, I'm back in the flesh. The, the, the techno flesh, the, the, the technological flesh. I was trying to find my skeleton, so yeah, oh well. Well, you know, most of us have to dig our skeletons out of the closet, so if your skeleton's still in the closet, you gotta get it out of there, man. Um, get it, get it, get it like a little trunk and hide it in the corner of your room or something, you know? That way it's more accessible. It sounds like you're saying sweet. Yeah, well, it's like, uh, sweet! Piggy, 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 come here, piggy! Sweet! You know, that's 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 technically what that's supposed to be. Um, so, but but trust me, if you saw the movie Deliverance, you would understand. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna play that scene. That scene is not safe for work. I'm not playing that scene for the life of me. But anyways, um, well, let's go ahead and hop into this first video. I don't have a ton of time tonight. I, I wish I did, but I really don't. Um, I've got to work in the morning, so we're going to have to kind of make this relatively quick, like a couple hours quick. Um, so let's get started. So again, the first video on our list, we have Mallet Street. Now this one, I kind of saw a fast forwarded version of when I was... Um, making the thumbnail on YouTube, it looked, I don't know. My hopes have kind of dwindled going through that. Um, but I guess we'll see. I shouldn't judge it before I watch it, but I guess we'll see if this is going to live up to the expectation. Uh, remember, they have uh, 10.1 thousand subscribers. Burnt Mill Road actually made a pretty decent one. I forgot the other one. I think I think this was the guy that made the one about uh, the demon following him through the house yesterday, but I'll have to double check that one. Um, 2,733 views since November 5th, so this has literally been out for, for one day. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I am, I'm ready for this. Are you guys ready? 
I don't I don't think I'll ever be ready. Ah, A to V Zao in the flesh on my Twitch. Yo, I appreciate that. My YouTube and Twitch are gonna be popping, bro. The more people that by the way, again, hit that subscribe button. Go to my YouTube, man, because the more people that comment and subscribe, the more that we can share this community and the more fun you guys are gonna have because there will be more people to chat with. Let's go. All right, so first thing off the bat, this is, uh, you know, I, I try not to judge people's um, logos and, and intros and stuff, but it is important to have a good intro if you're going to be a horror movie uh, filmmaker. You know, that's, that's just kind of one of the things that people, the recognizing factor that people are going to use to remember you with. And this looks so bad, so bad. The pixelation is terrible. Does it, does it like, you know, not, okay, no, the pixelation just remains terrible. So basically they, they upscaled it and, and it didn't, uh, it didn't upscale well. <laughs> I have such high hopes for this one. I'm good. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, what did she say? I was too busy talking over her. I was too busy freaking out about this. Sure you don't want to walk with me? I'm good. I'll see you tomorrow said nobody smart ever <laughs> you got a perfectly healthy young man here you got a little bit of backup here and she's like eh, you know it's all good people get kidnapped all the time but i'll be fine <laughs> i hope she's got a taser somewhere in this outfit i don't know where she would fit it but uh god fearing i i certainly hope she has a taser like maybe back there she's got a little something there not a taser Ugh. Why are you going to walk home by yourself? That's just a terrible idea. So nobody saw this guy? She was standing right... What? I'm going to laugh if she... Look, she's standing right here. She could easily... She's got a line of view straight down the stairs. She didn't notice that? I mean, I can understand why she didn't notice it. I can understand why he didn't notice it. But she... She must have the observation skills of, you know, somebody who's blind. I, it's sad. And then she's going to walk home all by herself. That's smart. That's real smart. Um, all right. Hope you're going to use that iPad, that iPod cord to help you. Fun fact, headphones probably wouldn't work well as a defensive weapon against uh, the the undead and, and other creatures that would aim to kill you. She must not have any music playing in that thing. I'm pretty sure if I had music playing, I would not hear whispers going on around me. I would be in oblivion doing whatever I want to do. Most likely not getting killed or getting killed. I don't know. Maybe one or the other. Oh, and in case you guys missed it, he was standing there. He looks like a nice guy. I think he's just trying to walk her home. I think he wants to make sure she gets there safely. He's he's just an upstanding citizen. You guys are judging him too much. What is it saying? It is, is it saying like Luke? I think it's saying Luke. Oh no, it's saying look. Got it. Okay, I thought it was saying Luke. I was like, what is this, Star Wars, man? Next thing you know, is some dude's gonna be jumping out of the corner with a lightsaber to save her ass. See? Look at him. This, this is a non-threatening stance. This is totally acceptable. Um, I, I, if I saw this guy on the street, I personally would ask him for, to, to walk me home. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Brian, what's up? Hey, buddy. How are you? Glad to have you in the chat today. I, I saw that you popped in yesterday as I was ending, but I'm glad that you uh, that you came back. So welcome back. How are you?
Blue Star, welcome to the chat, glad to have you. Okay, I gotta watch that part again. That was decent. So she finally sees him. I mean, it didn't take that long, so I mean, I'll, I will not knock her observational quality here. Um, but, or her observational skills here, but, you know, I... I think this is going to be terrifying for her. I, I don't know what the, the finger things are, but okay. Oh, he didn't run that time. Yeah, see, there's nothing threatening about this guy at all. He is totally, totally normal. What is he doing? Is he like doing jazz hands there? These are not spirit fingers. These are spirit fingers. Yeah. Freaking guy doesn't even know how to do spirit fingers. This guy needs to watch Bring It On all over it again. This guy needs to watch Bring It On all over again. Fuck. What's with the side straddle? Is that creepy? I don't know. I wouldn't find that creepy. To me, I would just think that that's kind of, you know inefficient so i would run more efficiently than he runs that is the most inefficient running i have ever seen i would not be terrified i would be stuck absolutely cracking up i'd be busting a gut right now oh. what i'm confused what was that Okay, so he gets her. There ain't no running from that. Why did we go back to this? Is this supposed to be part of the intro still? I'm good. I'll see you tomorrow. It finally, like, like the words finally, you know, now they look, now this looks much better. This looked terrible in the first shot. Why did they put the better version of this after that little section? I mean, this would make sense in a, in a full-fledged movie, but not in a video that's 2 minutes and 25 seconds. It's like they tried to place an intermission in here, but, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that my attention span is not that short. Although, I'm not, I'm not everybody else in the world, so I could be... Really I'm good. I'll see you tomorrow. What? That is the weirdest place to place a transition. I'm docking five points just for that. So now she's walking along as if nothing happened. So the whole first half of that video was just conceptual. Nothing, nothing happened. Or is this like an alternate reality? Did he make her go through the same time again? This is a weird one for me. Okay, so this time he starts off on the same side. The only thing that I catch in this video, or in this portion of the video, is that there's a giant sign that says stop. Like, please, stop doing weird things like putting your transition, uh, your, your, your intro in a transition portion of the video, where it makes absolutely no sense and only confuses the viewer. Please stop. I have to go. Can we play Fortnite sometime? Yeah, absolutely. Whenever I'm not doing, you know, horror movie reviews or video reviews of some kind, yeah, hell yeah, we can. I need to play Fortnite soon anyways. But I've been working literally since, you know, early this morning, so this is this is much more relaxing for me. <laughs> but um yeah, I'll probably do Fortnite again, especially Thursday coming up. Um we'll definitely drop some uh, some Fortnite that day. Okay, okay, so okay, so we did stop or start where we left off, but still weird transition. Why do we keep going back to this page? I don't get it. I don't understand what you guys are doing. What the hell is this? Why do we keep going back to this? It's frustrating. I'm good, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, okay, so now that I'm seeing their reaction, she's reliving the moment every single time. 
I, I guess that's what's happening here? Weird. Oh, now they're getting creepy. Okay, so at this point, these are not her actual friends. So she must be stuck in an infinite time loop that this demon or creature or whatever the hell this spirit finger waggling thing is. They're stuck in a time loop. Um, and well, she's stuck in a time loop and they're just a portion of this loop. So I'm guessing the real versions of them have continued on in the normal, uh, in the normal sequence of time. But she uh, is unfortunately already dead. That's the, uh, that's the thought that I'm taking here. But why does she have zero reaction to that? They, she literally told her, like, you should have gone home with us. I would have been like, what, man? <laughs> like, what you say to me? I would, I would get like, I would get mad, man. I'd be like, what are you talking about? Are you threatening me? Um, but yeah, that's weird. Yeah, he seems friendly. I like this mask. This is this is a cool mask. Like if somebody if somebody came at you with this thing, bro, you would be terrified. Minus the weird squiggly spirit fingers thing. That I don't know. I could do without that. That would just again make me absolutely crack up. But seeing this mask with like some knife hands or or you know like a like a regular blade or or like a pistol or anything that's not dangly spirit fingers would genuinely terrify me. And we're back to the intro, which is now the outro. Well, Jacob Arbiter Arbitier is uh, is the director here. Well, I I don't know. I would say on a scale of one to ten, there was very little creep factor for me. I was, I thought the creature looked goofy, to be honest. Um, so we will give that a half a point. I thought that the cinematography was done well. So there is that. That was a, um, I would say, a saving grace of this video, if there is one. Um, so the cinematography was nice. I, I like the shots. I like the fact that they kept everything balanced in those shots. I, I found the one portion of the cinematography that was weird was the fact that we kept going back to the dang intro. It's a two minute and 25 second video. How many times do you need to show me that your name is Burnt Mill Road? I get it. I totally get it. If this was an hour long movie, I might understand it. If this was a two hour long movie, I might understand it. If this was a three hour long movie, well, then an intermission is in order. But when you're two minutes and 25 seconds, do you really need to intermit your name in the movie three or four times? I think it was four times total if you include the outro. That's a little too much. I would say uh, I call excessive on this play. So Mallet Street, scary horror short or scary short horror film. Mallet Street, of course, being the street that she's on. Was it terrifying? Not in the least. One thing I do want to look at here because we did get to see the signs here. So it says Ethel, Ethel, Ethel Avenue. How do we know this is actually Mallet Street? Mallet, 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 Mallet. I'm a mulatto. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and exit out of this one. Like I said, I did leave the link in the description for YouTube. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, he has 10.1 thousand subscribers. Uh, he has not earned my subscription quite yet. I, I, I would like to earn the subscription, but you can even see here, out of the 2,733, we only have 113 votes, with 15 of those being down votes and 98 being, being up votes. That's not necessarily the best ratio of like to dislike, um, but still, I think that from what I'm seeing here, there's a lot of opportunity. Take all those intros out, dude. Those intros are going to hurt you. It's going to make people think that you're, you're just really coasting for those, for those 
subscriptions and like y y it almost makes it seem like you think that the viewers dumb like they're not gonna remember one minute from now who it is that that you are and and then that's that's gonna make you look bad i mean the, you can't treat your viewers like they're dumb you know like they are smart people in fact you should take away a lot more of that and and leave a little mystery in there uh, people appreciate mystery I i'll be honest on that okay so that being done <laughs> um this next one is uh is called uh, sweet dreams um we have I, i'm actually kind of excited for this one it has fifty three thousand views it was released october 2nd he has four hundred eighty four thousand subscribers so and he's verified so um in that sense i would feel that christopher cox would know how to make a decent scary movie or short video now he's got 1.5 thousand likes to the 59 dislikes that is a great uh like to dislike ratio um and i am also going to look at these uh, first set of instructions it says for the best experience view in a dark environment with headphones well i've got the headphones covered but my environment's not very dark so we're gonna have to do something about that um let's go ahead and do that where are my we're gonna we're gonna turn off my lights here boom and it's still a little bright in here so we're gonna ah, turn off this one as well i've got a second one back here boom well i mean we got that thing but i'm not turning off the wolf you can yeah you can you can that in your dreams i am not turning that wolf off uh oh crap i hate when this does this so my obs has fully taken over <laughs> my entire uh let's see uh i have to remember exactly where the freaking thing is at oh my gosh this is the most annoying thing ever so my tv screen um doesn't fully fit <laughs> um it's like it cuts off the borders of each of my pages and now i've got to remember how the heck this thing worked uh, oh my gosh that's so annoying obs you are so annoying with this so now i can't see any of my chat or any of my other stuff hold on bear with me here we're gonna do this can I minimize it here? No, it's not going to let me do that. All right, so that I don't mean. Gosh, this thing is being annoying. All right, so let's try this really quick. All right, so I can at least get that, but this is stupid annoying. Um, God, like, like I get that. This is stupid. Oh my gosh, this is so dumb. I hate that OBS is doing this right now. That is so annoying. Where the hell is the minimize? How do how do you not have another way? How do you not have another way to minimize this? You can't right click to minimize. That's freaking weird, bro. That is so freaking weird and stupid. Okay, so let me see. If I can get, looks like I'm on the toolbar here. Bear with me, everybody. This is this is dumb. Um, so I'm on the toolbar. I've literally got to like click around in, in space to try to find this thing. <laughs> so annoying. Oh my god. That is stupid annoying no I don't want to exit uh, but I do want this thing to be smaller oh my god oh this is so dumb Ugh. how do I is there like a there is there we go oh my god Screw OBS, dude. Oh my god, that was annoying as all hell. Okay, bye, I have to go. Can we be friends? Yeah, absolutely we can be friends. I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. We can definitely be friends. Um, Alright, so now that OBS is freaking out of my way, holy crap, OBS. And now it doesn't want to get out of the way at all. It's freaking out of my way. <laughs> crap, OBS. 
this and now it doesn't all right i need to move this thing because this thing is getting me flustered why is obs being so dumb right now there we go we can do that that'll work that'll that'll get this thing out of my way completely yes okay <laughs> we're good we're solid all right. Do we literally have no friends here? Nobody's here to hang out with me? Are you freaking kidding me? All right, well, whatever. I'll just be by myself then. I can't believe you guys hate me so much that nobody ever shows up. Um, all right. You invest all this money. Everybody's like, if you invest more, we'll show up. Yeah, where are you? Where are you at? Huh? Anyways, uh, for the best experience, view in a dark environment with headphones. Um, so we'll go ahead and check this one out. Okay, so. Good night, honey. Long intro. Sweet dreams. Oh, we finally got to the video after only 18 seconds. This is a lot of, you know, just waiting for something to happen. So mom turned off the lights, kids shifting around in bed, can't get to sleep. Okay, so right off the bat, one thing I do notice is that the upload quality is is pretty poor. Like, look at how pixelated his face is. Look at all the artifacting in here. This is this is pretty bad. And I I have it set on HD, right? Yeah, we're on 1080, man. What what does it look like on on 4K? Let me see. Let me take a step back. Does it look better now? Yo, Secret Slayer. What's up, Secret Slayer? Yeah, it looks much better now this way. Okay, so upload quality must be in 4K, I'm guessing. Okay, so let me stop it here really quick. How many of you have ever woken up in the middle of the night and, uh, and seen something standing in the corner of your room? Call me Brantley. All right, well, Brantley, welcome to the chat. If I, I, it might take me a couple times to to remember that, so you'll have to forgive me there. But I, I will, I will definitely uh, do my best to remember that. But Brantley, what's up? Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm glad that you came back today. You're my only viewer at the moment, so it's just, it's just us. I wonder if this kid wears glasses. He looks like he wears glasses. <laughs> well, like I said, you got to keep hanging out. It's a, it's a very well-earned position. I made somebody wait uh, back when I used to do, like, you know, when I'd have, like, 48 to 60 viewers, in a, you know, at a time. Like, that was, like, my average view count. Um, not just how many I got in one stream. No, that would be my average view count. Um, when I was at that point, I made people wait, you know, months and months to get there. Um, Twitch is being so glitchy, so I am back on YouTube. Oh, okay. What's what's Twitch doing? How's it how's it being glitchy? I'll have to go take a look and see what it's doing. Um, but yeah, I made people really take a long time to earn that. <laughs> Do you have an iPhone? No, I I don't use iPhone. I have a uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. All right, so he doesn't seem totally freaked out yet. I actually like how they're doing this. So one of the things that I really like is that it might seem subtle, but the the camera, you know, the way the camera is, is getting that uncomfortable up close view. And then I really like this shot to, to a POV style view. Um, and I noticed that you're getting to see a little bit more of this thing standing in the corner before it was just like a dark shadow. Maybe nothing's there. Maybe something's there. But now you're actually seeing something. You can see like blood drips and, and an arm and, and he's wearing some type of maybe like a hospital gown or something. Maybe not even a he. Looks like it could be a girl. That looks like what long hair there. I, I feel like he's being haunted by the grudge. This looks like the grudge a little bit. 
how to contact you. Oh, uh, you can send me a message through uh, here on um, Omelet Arcade. And then I think Massive Buffering. Oh, I wonder if that's... Let me see. I'm just curious. I'm going to go to uh, Twitch real quick and see what it, if it does it on my end, too. It's been a while since I've logged into my Twitch, so I don't think that I've... Oh, that's Discord fudge. It uses a purple thing, too. Where is my Twitch at? I used to have Twitch on this thing. Ah, there it is. Let me see if it's doing it on my end as well. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, that's cool. To the email address, huh? Okay, bear with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to log into my Twitch really quick. I haven't logged into Twitch uh, for quite a while, so let's see. I got to add in my uh, two-factor auth code. Okay. So it says we have two people on Twitch currently. Um, okay, it's got to play through the the, adver the advertisement. Massive buffering. Yeah, I'll check it out. Can I email you? Um, yeah, you message me here and, and we'll talk more. I don't give away my personal information to... Uh, too much but i do have a business email you can you can message so um, message me on omelet and then later when i have time i will get that over to you okay so child's genuinely scared now i would be too this how many how many of you have done this when freaked out in your bedroom i there's so many people that do this i am actually the opposite there's no way you'll ever find me hiding in the covers if, if I'm really that freaked out because something's in my room, I will football tackle the crap out of that thing. I will freaking dive roll out the door. I will go flying down the hallway and out the front door. I will grab my child. I will grab my girlfriend. I will grab my dog. I will hold them all in two arms, and I will run down the stairs with them as if I'm carrying a football to the end zone during fucking the, the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way I'm just going to sit there and take it. Call me Wolf Daddy TTV. Ooh, I did see that. that. See, I told you that's a hospital gown. Pretty sure I just saw a hospital gown. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> that was a good shot. Look at his face. Um, where's that thing at? I can see why they want you to watch it in the dark because this is a very dark video. I just want to see if it's a hospital gown before we actually see the thing. Yeah, that hella looked like a hospital gown. Damn, that's a quick shot. I kind of like that they did that. You can almost see the hospital gown transposed on this on this shot here. It's such a quick shot. Yeah, okay. So definitely have a hospital gown. Is it holding something? It looks like it's like holding like something in its hands. What the hell is that? What do you guys think that is in its hands? Can I call you Wolf? Yeah, absolutely. Wolf is my name. But what what do you think this is? What do you think this is? Let me know in the in the comments. Why do you think she's bleeding? Like surgical victim or something? Yeah, I really like the way he shoots these shots. I, I do think that filming completely in the dark was a huge challenge for him. You can see some posturizing here. Um, it's, 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 it, it's hard to shoot in the dark like this. Um, but I, I've got to say that I'm really impressed by the way he shoots. It makes you anxious. Um, it, it makes you wonder what's about to happen next. Um, it's, it's something that you can relate to if you've ever been in the dark and thought you've seen something creepy. This is really good. Yo, Secret Slayer, thank you. You guys, t definitely, wait, did you sub on here? Like you paid for the four ninety nine, Or do you mean you sub to, uh, to, to YouTube? Yeah, I love the way he shoots this. He takes so much time. 
Okay, cool. Hey, I want to say thank you for that. You guys, make sure to hit me up on YouTube just like Secret Slayer did. That's that's what I'm talking about. Real support is going to come from hitting up that YouTube. Um, even Omelette Arcade has said it to me before that this is a social network to help you build your other platforms. So uh, YouTube is my main goal. I love YouTube. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. So if you guys help me there, trust me, these streams are only going to get freaking better and better and better. Yeah, um, message me on that about the mod thing. That, you and I could probably, we could probably make that happen. Dino, what's up? <laughs> Why'd you say, oh, you said hello. I thought you said help. I was like, I don't think I could help you. I'm a little far away from you, I think. I mean, who knows? You could be, you know, five doors down from me, but, but hello. Welcome to the chat. So the other part of this, too, is I got to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replay this portion his use of sound is something that is completely underrated when it comes to horror and, and anything, honestly, not even just horror, most movies. Um, people do not utilize their sound correctly. They forget that sound is such a big part of us feeling our environment and understanding our environment. And sometimes when we can't see something, we actually rely on our hearing more than anything else. So the fact that this guy is, is utilizing his sound so effectively, that is a masterpiece. Yeah, this one is not a stinky cheese. This one is this one's a decent cheese. This is like this is like getting that fancy, you know, uh cheese that you're gonna get, like the type of cheese that the Queen of England would, would eat. You know, this is this is good cheese. I DM you. Hey, appreciate that. I will definitely hit you back up on that. Yeah, that's so good. You've got the you've got the knocking of the door. You've got the the heart rate increasing. You've got the sound of the 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 just utter silence that's around you. It's 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 captivating how well he's doing this. And then of course, what I really like is the balancing of his shots are so good. Your focal point is here, but really your focal point is not him looking out. It's not the ghost here. Your focal point is here. The covers are your protection from this thing that's outside of of them this is this is you know a lot of kids safety net and the fact that you know the focus is actually the blanket and not the two subjects in in this shot really uh give a lot to the to the background it, it takes the background of what would what would normally not be part of the scene or not important to the scene and actually adds a lot more importance to it that is mwah, this is a beautiful video i love the way this is shot you want to do a voice chat? Well, we could definitely talk. Um, let's let's chat more. I'll ch I work tomorrow. I'll have plenty of time to chat you. I'll hop on and, and we'll we'll talk for a little bit. Uh, not virtual because again, I work. I, I do work a lot. Like I have, you know, I have to take my business very seriously. This is this is what I do for fun. This is not my job at, at, yet. But um, but let's talk and I'll I'll DM you back and then and then we can talk about chatting and all that. <laughs> that was so good oh my god he got the bravery to actually pop up and and look and you know it's that's so well done because there's been many times when i was a kid that i would be like in a dark room in my bedroom and i would think something was in the darkness like staring at me and ah uh, man like i would have i remember those moments where you're just like Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going to do it. And then you pop up and you're like, God, ah! you go turn on the light and then there's nothing. And you're like, okay, <sighs> we're good. No, that was, that was beautiful. And I love this arrival picture too, because that is something else. I mean, aliens are, are absolutely terrifying <laughs> for a lot of people. So you got like, you got like scary things stacking on top of scary thing here. Um, this was a really, really freaking good movie though, by the way. Uh, what time you work? I work uh, 7 a.m. or I'm sorry, 8 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. 
Um, and then when I get off, I'll probably be streaming because somebody was saying we should do like scary mo or scary short Sundays. Um, and I, I agree. I think, you know, we're going to work up a, um, a schedule over this next week here and figure out exactly which days I'm going to be viewing what. Um, but a lot of these uh, scary short horror reviews are going to be split up into their own episodes. And then we are going to post that or I'm going to post them on an entirely different channel. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. It's 8.50 by me. Uh, right now it is 7.50. So you are in the Midwest. Um, you are central time, basically. Oh, I thought he was a kid. Bro. He was a kid. Whoa, that was so good. That's right, because I thought that the room looked different. Because his mom said good night. And then he was he was in his bedroom back here. Yeah, see, you've got the yeah, he's got Ed and Nettie. Um, this is uh, the Iron Giant, bro. Whoever decorated this room for this video, uh, what's his name again? It is uh, it's Christopher Cox. He did a really good job decorating this room. This is definitely a, a 90s bedroom. Where did he get these? He's had to have had these since he was a kid. Where do you even get an Iron Giant poster anymore? And Ed, Ed and Eddie posters? Oh my god, bro. See, just the way he balances his scenes. Um, the the yeah, this is so well done. And then look, he's got he's got pictures. That's Kevin. Um, that's Double D, and that's a that's a grave that's a gravestone. This looks like a picture of the family. The, this is very well done. And so basically, this, is, this means that this thing's been haunting him his whole life. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We could do that. I'll, I'll hit you up when I'm off. Yeah, and see, right here is the door. This is his bedroom, or I mean his closet. And uh, yeah, the door's open too. Do you notice that? That's another thing. Like when you're a kid, you usually leave the door open, you know, because, you know, you're, you're scared and you want mom and dad to protect you. But even with the door open, it's, it's still terrifying for this kid. I wonder what this door leads to. Uh, I don't do Google Meets unless it's my job. <laughs> I don't use Google Meets on my own. Um, we'll use the uh, we'll use the omelet chat. Yeah, that's that's very well done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop up to him here. This guy looks like, what is his name? This looks like somebody I used to know. This looks like somebody I went to high school with. I wonder if that's him. It looks just like the guy I went to high school with. He was super talented too. I would not be surprised if that's him. Yeah, dude, huh, I wonder if that is. Weird. Now he's growing up, he's got BoJack Horseman in the background. It was an alright show. He's got a kiddo here. I wonder if that's him as a kid, or if that's his kid and his girl. He's not in the shot, so I would assume that's his mom and that's him as a boy. Hmm. Nice car, by the way. Those cars from like the 50s were freaking awesome. If I could ever get my hands on one, I would. Uh-oh. It's still it's still knocking, bro. I don't think that the the light's going to save him from this one. Oh dang. Yeah, this this apparently has been a very long problem for him. I mean, he's got he's got the the like prescribed sleeping medication. That's hardcore stuff. Dude, that's me. So you guys want to know a secret to um, to ghosts? Here, here's here's a nice little secret. Get yourself a freaking fan. If you think that ghosts are haunting you in the middle of the night, there ain't no way you're gonna hear anything over this fan. I'd put that thing on high, and then and then think about it like this: if it was touching you, you wouldn't know. I mean, the fan is hitting you so hard, you would have no stinking clue, bro. Well, I guess if you rolled over and saw it, you would you would realize. He 
he saw something. Let's see if we can see it before he sees it. Okay, so this, yeah, this has to be him as a child. This is his mother. This looks like, this looks like Photoshop, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It looks like they Photoshopped the mom with the boy. And what is wrong with this kid? He, he, he is faking that happiness. They're both faking their happiness. You know why they're faking it? Because they got Photoshopped together. Oh, that was a mistake. Why wouldn't it? Okay. Okay. This is one of those things. I mean, this is a great video. So, you know, this is, this is just a small tidbit here, but why would you need to turn out the light? If you're already terrified, can't you just sleep with the light on or, or turn on a movie? Does this guy, is this guy like the only person in 2021 that doesn't have a freaking, you know, flat screen tv in his bedroom just blaring light into his face all night i mean i have one two three flat screen tvs in my bedroom how does he not even have one what is what is this guy living in the 1850s yo breon zane welcome to the chat glad to have you all right other other tidbit here if you already know it's 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 constantly in the corner behind you, why wouldn't you look that way? Although he seems to be terrified to look at it pretty much ever. It's getting closer. Dang, bro. This thing is just tormenting him. All right, keep an eye on the scene. This is usually where good directors will start putting little things in the scene that are hidden. So let's see if there's any type of symbolism here or anything that is here that, you know, is, is something the director wanted us to, to not miss. See, like moments like these, like scenes like these sometimes have things to hide. Is his foot poking out of there? Oh, that would bother me so bad. Who here has to have their their feet sticking out from under the covers? I, I can't do that. My feet have to be inside the covers, and, and I also can't sleep with socks. I, I don't know about you guys. I, I can't freaking sleep with socks. That shit bugs me. Seriously, where's this guy's TV? This is the most plain bedroom. The kids' room was set up so well, but his bedroom has nothing. And what's this crap down here? What is this? Is that just... Oh, that's just pixelation. Yeah, it's just pixelation. It's just the darkness. Like I said, shooting in low light is very difficult. You know that thing's got to be terrifying if the, if the if the sleep medication doesn't even work, bro. Like I said, I would never turn out the lights. I, I literally would live twenty four seven inside of a rave. Is this the day? Is this the day? This this dude has gone all these years, and now today is the day. This is the day of days that this thing is going to decide to to take him out. That is a that is a really well done ghost. I've got to say this is really good. Like I'm like like seriously though. Okay, so thoughts. What do you think it was that happened to her in the hospital? This is definitely a hospital gown. And we've got a lot of blood here on the stomach. We've got some right here along the neckline. But, you know, there's there's literally blood everywhere. Like, what is this? What is this? What is this? What what do you think happened to her? Maybe got hit by a car or something? Do you, oh, do you think his mom had something to do with it? I'm just taking guesses now before we actually find out. I know you're not real. So why are you talking to it? If <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that's so good. Bro, it's 
so good. It is so good. This is one of the first times I've seen a ghost that's actually kind of creeped me out. I hope you guys are watching this in the darkness. All right, hold on. I want to see that again. That was so well done. I'm sorry for those of you that this is this is going to terrify, but this is so well done. The way that the sound is coming in, building up to the intensity to this to this dramatic moment. Not real. Questioning the validity of the entity. Yeah, it's pissed. Okay, seriously though, what do you think happened to the eye? This had to have been like some major like like trauma traumatic event like like something like getting hit by a car or, or or you know, falling off a cliff or something. This had to have been traumatic, but this ghost is haunting him ever since a child. So, do you think like maybe his mom or his dad had something to do with it and the ghost is seeking revenge on him? I don't know. What are your thoughts? That was so good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, this is the first time I've been impressed. I think one of, I think like one of my hair has popped up on the, on the back of my head. Back of my neck. <laughs> oh my God. This poor guy. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know why he would ever turn off the lights. I would, you know, I think I would just just do what needs to be done. <laughs> I'm calling an exorcist. I'm calling a, a, a Buddhist monk. I'm going to call the, the National Guard. I'm calling the police. Like, I'm calling everybody. Wow. I actually really thought that they did a good job on that. One of the scariest parts of this, too, is not the fact that he died. It's not the fact that anything, you know, bad physically happened to him. It's the mental anguish that this thing would place on you day after day after day. That's what truly makes this terrifying. It's like being in a prison. You just can't escape from it. No matter where you go or what you do, this thing is going to follow you. Very well done. I definitely am going to subscribe to, to Christopher Cox. I'm definitely going to be looking um, for more of his videos. There were a lot of factors that made this really good. I want to see the comments. I'm just glad the monster followed the rules. You can't kill someone when they're under a blanket, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, blankets are like Kevlar to ghosts, man. You just throw that shit up. You'll be good. You'll be good. Um, best viewed in a dark environment with headphones. Probably going to regret this, but life is short. <laughs> yep, I just experienced that firsthand. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bruh, true. <laughs> These are good comments. Um, dude, that was awesome. Really gave me the creeps. Great use of the weird sensory shit that happens in tense moments of fear. Noticing your breathing volume, ringing of ears, etc. Keep on killing it, man. This was beautiful. Let's see. Um, yeah, this was awesome. So, so yeah, um, the validity of a ghost. I don't think I would ever challenge the validity of a ghost. Pretty sure they don't like that.
I would say mini shorts try to be this, but fall short. I will definitely be subbing and hitting that bell notification. Thank you for the terrifying dreams. I'ma go to bed now. No problems at all. <laughs> no worries at all. This was a masterpiece. I really like that you focused on the blanket as a security device and even made it the focal point. Uh, in a couple of scenes. I really like uh, that the blanket was, um, was its own subject. Was its own subject. And acted, uh, I would say, and uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? I don't know how I want to write this comment. Uh, yo, Dirty Hard. What's up, Dirty Hard? Welcome to the chat. Glad to see you. Thank you for joining. I'm trying to, to figure out a good comment to leave for this guy. Um, device and even made it the focal point in a couple of scenes. I don't think I would ever challenge the validity of a ghost. Pretty sure they don't like that. Also must admit that this had some of the best sensory, sensory experience I have felt. Uh, sp sensory experiences. I have felt for a while. Many shorts try to be this, uh, try to be this, but this is why you got to double check your comments, man. Um, but fall short. I will definitely be subbing and hitting the bell notification. Thank you for the terrifying dreams. I'm going to go to bed now. No worries at all. Um, so, guys, I just left a comment for uh, CA Cox 97. Um, I definitely recommend you guys go subscribe. I do have the link down below if you are on my YouTube. So, make sure to hit up my YouTube. Go hit up that link and go subscribe to CA Cox. Watch this one on your own, too. I think you guys should give it one or two more runs through. If you really enjoy horror, this was, this was by far one of the best I've seen so far. <laughs> I love it. So dirty hard. What's up, dude? How are you doing? Let's turn the lights back on. Um, so I, I don't, I mean, I guess I don't really need the lights. It's a little exciting like this, isn't it? Um, let me see. Yeah, we could just do it like this. I kind of like it like this. All right. <laughs> I like it in the dark. Um, I know I'm a weirdo. So Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We still have a couple more left. This, again, really well done. I, I've got to give this one a huge thumbs up. I'll even share this one later. This was, this was so well done. Holy cow. Okay, so next. Uh, this one's from ACM Official. So we, uh, we watched an ACM Official yesterday. And it was actually pretty decent. Remember, that's Alex Magana. Um, he is the director, writer, you know, all the other fun stuff. Um, we have a cast here. It's Ashley as Rachel Wirtz. Grace is Steve Saylor. Uh, Steve, Stevie Saylor Marie. That's a long, confusing name. Boyfriend, the villain. <laughs> Boyfriend slash villain. Well, thanks for giving that away. Tanner Glenn. Uh, girlfriend is going to be Julia Burkholder. Astronaut astronaut why is there an astronaut anyways uh reuben escoval and we have the priest as martel clark and the monk as paul hutton a terrifying tale on halloween night that's right a acm official is the one that has the super short descriptions you know they work for you though you've got five point fifty one point uh fifty one point four thousand subscribers twenty five thousand views and this premiered october 6th so that's had about a month literally a month to the day um, so we're going to see if this one's any good. I, I, I hope it is. I hope this isn't a waste of time, but we don't call this stinky cheese reviews for no reason. This could be a stinky cheese. All right, let's go. My feet are killing me. 
Okay, this is the lamest SWAT outfit I've ever seen. What an excuse to wear a SWAT outfit that has nothing to do with the SWAT. <laughs> like, seriously. I mean, I like the dress. The dress is cool. But, you know, there there is a certain rule for girls on Halloween, and that's, you know, you gotta dress in a certain way. And, and it's certainly not like your, your, your everyday churchgoers. No, 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 no. Uh, and, and she's like, what? Captain America? She's, is she a sailor? Oh, yeah, she's a sailor. She's a sailor. I think I left my phone at the party. This guy's got that look on his face like, dang, you could stop me. You could frisk me. You could put them cuffs on me. Will you go check for me? Ashley, please, please. My feet hurt. Yeah, anytime anybody asks me for anything like that, I'm going to make you suffer more. You can get your own dang shoes. Fine. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my gosh. She's got that laugh like she's spoiled rotten. Like she knows anything she asks for, she's going to get. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what? He's Michael Myers? For real? Is, is this like a cheap knockoff Michael Myers? Oh my gosh. Oh no. This this actually segues really quickly. Um, I plan on doing a review on a fan fiction Michael Myers or Halloween video that I saw today. It was really bad. But I have to do a review on it. Um, so you guys can keep an eye out for that. I, I may try to get that one out this week. Oh my gosh. I mean, the use of, of videography here is good, um, or cinematography is good. I mean, you know, I guess if they, they have a good camera. They balance their shot. The colors look nice. But this knockoff Michael Myers is kind of killing it for me right now. See something you like? Mm. No. You can take it back to the store. I'm good. If that's her boyfriend, wouldn't wouldn't she know that's her boyfriend? <laughs> what? <laughs> then what was with the menacing walk towards the girl, man? I feel like that that girlfriend hadn't shown up. This this could have gone a whole different direction. Yo, happy welcome to the chat. Glad to have you. Yeah, this could have gone a whole different direction. Wow. Ah, I've been looking for you. Every ah, I've been looking for you. Every then what was the point of this? Like you could clearly see she's in distress, and he's just walking towards her. What was the point of that walk then, man? Like, you only walk menacingly like that when you plan on doing something bad. I feel like she ruined it. I feel like he was going to do something and she just she just came in at the wrong moment. It's okay. He'll take care of that later. Uh, I've been looking for you. Yeah, I was looking for you and I saw this girl with a sailor outfit and I totally thought that was you. So I was going to I was going to walk towards her menacingly. <laughs> so she basically meaning that I'm not getting your dang shoes for you. Let me try calling you on your phone. Here. Hello? Hello? Who is this? <laughs> I would be like, who is this? Do you need an inhaler? You sound like you're dying. What happened? I could hear someone breathing. And then they just hung up. Yeah, if, if somebody was breathing, I'd be like, la, 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 I don't hear anything. And we're, let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> hey, it's Ashley. Voice Leave now. me a message. I just got that phone, too. What do you want to do? I'll report it stolen tomorrow. Let's go. Yeah, it, it's, it's got all my personal info and, you know, it's it's fine. I'll report it. Yeah, I'll report it tomorrow. It's cool. Let's go home. I don't. I don't have a phone. I don't have shoes. Let's go home. 
Does she have shoes? Oh, I guess she has shoes. I guess she just needed the phone. I don't know where I got the shoes from. Call me if I find your phone. Yeah, bye. I'm glad that she she said that last part. I was like, call me? She just lost her phone. How is she going to call you? You think people have a landline these days? Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. So for me, this is about the time that I would... And then look in the back seat. I would not look in the back seat before doing... Right? Okay, so just saying, just saying. Oh, it's in the trunk. Well, this would be a really good trick for a kidnapper. I mean, I think he's about to push her into the trunk and then get in her car and take off. That is that is a dirty trick. Oh, my gosh. I, I wouldn't have fallen for this. I would not have fallen for this. Now, um, this is this is important to bring up here because I'm going to teach you something here about safety. So um, we're going to go ahead and read this out loud really quick. Fair Use Act Disclaimer. This site is for educational purposes, and that's really what we're going to do. We're going to educate right now. It is the fair use, which means adopted under the uh, Copyright Disclaimer, Section 107, Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Um, definitely falls under criticism and comment. But this one also is going to fall under education and research. Um, in this case, I am about to educate you on what not to do. And this this for real would, would really help. So if you were in a situation like this and you lost your phone after hearing creepy noises on your phone, you, you know somebody's definitely got your phone. You know it. Then do not, if you hear the phone vibrating in your car, go look for it. That is most likely a ploy to get your attention and to throw you off guard. What you're going to want to do is get in your vehicle, you're going to want to back out, and then you're going to want to drive to the nearest police station, hang out in the parking lot, and then you can look for your phone. If you feel like it could be more threatening than that, just go inside and talk to the police and let them go to your car and search for your phone. Just don't let them into your phone, uh, (laughs) because then they can look through everything you have by law. But... If you're worried about these situations, remember, do not just go looking for yourself. Even if you have weapons, even if you're, you know, concealed carrying, just go to the police station, get into the parking lot, and then look for your phone there. If somebody's tailing you on the way, you're most likely going to look, you're going to notice it on the way. So make sure you keep an eye on your rear view mirror and your side mirrors and If you have any cars that seem to be tailing you, take three right turns, take three left turns. If it's still telling you after those turns, you know, go to the police station, park in the parking lot, go directly inside. Bam. There you go. I just helped save your life in a bad situation. This guy's going to have to cover a lot of ground to get to her. Okay, she could not be any dumber. I mean, why would you think that it would be okay to just stand there after you just heard breathing on your phone, your phone's in the back of your car, it starts ringing because somebody started calling it for no reason, and it's in your trunk where you definitely didn't put it last. I would be out of there so fast, it would make my head spin. Oh, I forgot to take this down. Seriously, though, I would be be out of there so fast, it would make my head spin. So let's go back over here really quick. Look Look at how much space she's got, though. I mean, technically, you don't see anybody there. there. You would have to cover so much ground to get to her. But with those heels, I don't think she would make it out of there fast enough. Ugh. Girls, if you're going to go outside, if you have to walk home, you have to go in a parking lot, bring a change of tennis shoes with you. My goodness. You know, you can look good in your heels when you're inside the club or in the dance or whatever, but my God. Bring a pair of tennis shoes. 
Yo, Pharrell Felon, what's up? How are you doing? And thank you for joining us today. I am glad to have you. Uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and uh, let me know if you get scared. <laughs> um, yeah, and then she just stands at the back of this open trunk. This is this is one of those plot devices that they have to come up with just to try to make it seem like, you know, there's a reason why he gets to her and he crosses all that space without her noticing. But honestly, in a real life encounter, I, I don't think most people would do this. But again, I've said it many times, scary movies and scary videos and scary stories are not made because smart people were in them. <laughs> so there is that. I mean, I just woke up, so <laughs> I guess you have to get up and move around then. I mean, sit back and relax is, is exactly the opposite. You just woke up. Where, where are you at? You, you must be in, in the UK or, or uh, maybe somewhere in Asia where it's daytime now. Characters plus horror movies equal dumb AF. That, yeah, no, for real. They are dumb as shit. Australia, yes. Crikey. Well, welcome from down under. Um, glad to have you. I have quite a few friends in Australia, quite a few viewers in Australia, so I am glad to, uh, to, to have more friends down there. So now if I ever take a trip down there, uh, I'm going to have to go on a, uh, on a tour of, the, uh, of, of Australia. I've got so many people that I know down there. I've got to go out there at some point. I'm so excited. That is, that is going to be one of my huge life dream trips. Uh, Yannick, yes, Yannick, uh, Yannick's one of them. There's, I have more, I have more viewers from, um, from Australia. Yannick's more of like a friend though. You know, I'm, I've talked to him a few times and Yannick's super dope, dude. Um, yeah. How do you know Yannick? Yes. Future's another one. Yes. I love future. Young future is the shit, dude. Um, both of them I would consider friends. And then um, there were a couple others. I had uh, D's Nuts. Um, he used to be a YouTube viewer of mine. There's a couple others. I don't know them as well. But those are the, the Yannick and Future are like my two favorite people in the world. Found my phone. It was in my trunk. What, <laughs> what is this guy wearing? This is, they must have gone to the spirit store when they ran out of masks. Is this seriously the best mask you could come up with? It's not even creepy looking. It's just goofy, man. It's just goofy. So do you follow them? How do, how do you know Yannick and Future? It's, it's funny. This is such a small world. I love it. Man looking like an Asian <laughs> robber. Straight up, dude. Like, like, what is this? Anyways, again, why would you stand at the back of your trunk? So dumb. No! 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 I mean, you didn't see that coming when you were over here? Just standing there? I mean, let's count how much time she spends out here. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It took eighteen seconds for him to get to her. And for her to realize that she's a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, and that's her own car. Okay, so, so in the beginning of the video, she lost her phone. She called her phone and could hear heavy breathing. And then when she got in her car, she, the phone started vibrating. So she looks around for it, realizes it's in the trunk. And then she gets out of said car, goes to the trunk, sees it laying perfectly in the center of her trunk. Mind you, weird thing is she had nothing in her trunk. Most people in real life would have something. But anyways, sitting right in the middle of her trunk, she picks it up and decides to text her friend instead of getting back in the car and driving away and being like, this is probably a bad situation. Somebody had my phone and now they put it inside of my car. But she does not even notice it. One of the things I would like to know is how the hell did he get in her car? 
without setting off an alarm or, or anything. I mean, I guess he could have picked the lock, but wouldn't she have noticed that when she got to the car? Did she leave the car unlocked? Is she that dumb? Oh my gosh. I feel bad. 18 seconds for man to walk and for her brain, <laughs> her one brain cell to work. <laughs> her one brain cell. It's more like a half a brain cell. Yep, he's out of there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Get home safe. I, I like how her friend has no common sense either. If somebody told me that, if they were like, I found my phone, it was in my trunk, I'd be like, get the out of there, bro. Do not stay there. Get back inside. Go to a police station. Why are you texting me? What is wrong with you? Well, that's how you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. Well, this is another one from Alex Magana, ACM official. Um, <laughs> this one was kind of entertaining. It was just funny. Um, he did the smiling woman. We watched the mime. That was the one we watched yesterday was the mime. I have not seen VR escape room. This is definitely going on the list for tomorrow. So I hope you guys are excited for that. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to, we're going to watch this one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and subscribe. Um, even though they're not like the best of the best, they actually are pretty decent. Um, she literally had a half a brain cell though. So I think anybody could have made a horror film about that girl. Um, but, uh, but I am, I, I will definitely be back to, to criticize and comment more of Alex Magana's work in the future. All right. What are your thoughts? If you were to give this a one out of 10, what would be your thoughts? I think for me personally, I would give this one a four. The cinematography was okay, but what the hell was with the boyfriend doing the menacing walk towards her and then all of a sudden random girl comes out of nowhere and, and is like, oh, honey, you know, why would you stand at the back of your car instead of getting back in your car and realizing that somebody is probably trying to kidnap you? And how is it that you can just not have any type of self-preservation in mind when it comes to these types of situations? Remember what I said, you guys, if you think somebody is following you, make sure to get right into your car. If that thing is in your trunk and it wasn't there before, get into your car, make sure the back seat's clear. If the back seat's clear, make sure to take off as quick as possible. If anybody's following you, take three right turns, take three left turns. If somebody's still on your tail, go straight to a police station, go to the police station and go right inside and let them know somebody's following you. Ask the police to go search your car. Period. You'll get home safe. 9 out of 10 for accurate character. 7 out of 10 for the... <laughs> You know, you're probably right. I'm sure that this stuff happens all the time because people literally operate on a half a brain cell in life. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and put this one away. If you guys want to watch this one on your own, if you missed the first half of it, um, you can go to my YouTube. It is in the description. My link is there for, for this video. All right. So next video, we have three videos left. Um, this one is called Happy Halloween. It is a horror short film. Thank you for specifying that. Um, we have 37,000 views. It was released October 25th, and he has 316 subscribers by Wellversed Entertainment. Um, we have, I'm not going to look at the comments yet. It could give away the story, but I am going to look at the like to dislike ratio. We have 491 likes out of 36 dislikes. That means that there is a low rate of retention or not retention, but, um, of, uh, of people actually interacting with this, uh, like to dislike button. And at least there is a decent ratio it's not the best but it is a decent ratio of like to dislike with 36 dislikes out of 491 i am curious i'm a very critical person so i am very curious to see how this one goes uh, i probably will nice that's awesome yeah let me know what your thoughts are if you watch it later leave it leave a comment on my youtube channel and and let me know what your thoughts are there's a couple videos that you missed before this as well no, oh, they're what adorable. They're so adorable. My goodness. Yo, de jour dior. I really appreciate that follow. Thank you for that. Welcome to the Cups Club. Uh, the, 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 like, I have a daughter, and I have a second daughter on the way, and I'm super excited to get into Halloween and see kid costumes. They're so adorable. I love it. And the ghoul. 
you guys I look- miss being a kid at Halloween and getting all the candy and everybody telling me how cool I looked. Now if I go trick-or-treating, everybody just looks at me and is like, aren't you a little old? Well, aren't you a little dumb? Everybody likes candy no matter how old you are. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Great, take- Why more, can't Jobs play. have more Halloween it's days where you get huh? candy? That's my favorite too. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. No. All right, everybody. We know where she lives. It's 4058B. Ah! Oh, wait. I don't know the street. Damn it. She almost got doxxed. How does these kids have better costumes than mine? Mine looks so weird that... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, time. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I wasn't going to go there, but I would hope that, you know, you get a cool costume next year. I mean, if you're buying it off of Amazon, that could be why. Or Spirit, you know, you've got you got to make that shit. You know, as an adult, you've just got to buy the real thing. You know, if you want to be a knight for Halloween as an adult, you don't buy a knight costume. You, you don't you don't buy a knight costume. You go buy the real knight suit, man. You want to be a samurai? You buy a real katana, man, and a real kimono, you know? You, 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 we don't fuck around when we're adults, man. Skeleton. Very cute, but I turned off the lights. Calling it a night. This early? Yeah. That is the worst projector I have ever seen. Very cute, but I turned off the lights. Calling it a night. This early? There is no way you are watching this and enjoying this. There is no way. And why wouldn't you turn off these lights? Are you that terrified of the movie? Then why watch it in the first place? This is the, like the most... This, this isn't scary. Nightmare on Elm Street's not scary. Why would... Where's your screen? Why wouldn't you make that smaller? Why is it on the ceiling? I have so many questions. Yeah, it's dead out there. That is weird. It's dead on Halloween. Imagine that. Dead things on, on All Hallows Eve. Weird. It's like there are no kids on the streets. Hmm. It's 2021 and there's, there's no kids in the streets. It's like there's like a pandemic or something going on and, and parents don't want to bring their kids outside. It's, it's so weird. Where have I been for two freaking years? Amazon be like, we all, all we got for you is thirty dollars. <laughs> Dude, I I know it's bad. It's bad. The only way you can get a good costume on Amazon is if you're a kid. But did you notice like kids' costumes today are way better than they were when we were kids? I had to wear that like fake plastic crap, you know. Like I wanted to be Robin one year from like Robin and Batman, and the whole costume was literally made out of plastic. Like every time you walked, it was like. <laughs> Trick. For me, at least. <laughs> no, you're not the only one. I didn't even wear a costume this year, dude. I, I didn't even bother. I bought my kiddo a costume. I, I, I literally didn't even have enough money to really even do that. <laughs> I decided not to eat for a day just so I could see my kid be cute. And I mean, I've got to send pictures to grandparents and stuff, you know, so can't be a disappointment. But no, I, I didn't even bother with a costume. More for us. <laughs> Yum. That, that's the spirit. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my God. I saw, I saw the totally not scary part, but I'm going to react to it. What I would like to know is, is did they get the licensing to show Nightmare on Elm Street? I mean, I can show it because I'm reviewing the content. And again, under the Fair Use Act disclaimer of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. But does this actually, does this, does this actually like fall under fair use? Wouldn't this fall under a need for licensing? Maybe that's why they don't have it. You know what? I think they're following the uh, I think they're following the 60 percent rule, the 40, 60 percent rule, which is if you change something to 60 percent or if you change at least 60 percent of something's original structure, then at that point, it no longer is covered under the um, intellectual property. So I think in this case, by distorting the image so much, they have avoided that. 
Interesting. I haven't watched this movie. I had a scream mask, and that mask was so hot. When I got home, I was sweating like someone's girlfriend looking through their phone. <laughs> that just gave me the best imagery, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He said, what? That son of a bitch. <laughs> Hold on. I got to take off the scream mask. <sighs> okay. That son of a bitch. Seriously, though. I, I I love that. That was that was beautiful. Ayo, you should get a narrator job. Damn. Hey, thank you. I'm I'm working on it. That's my YouTube. That's my YouTube. You know, I want my YouTube to get bigger. Um, I I think my focus this year is is gonna be YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna be taking all of these reviews. I'm gonna shorten them down. Uh, I'm gonna cut them up, short them down, and I am going to be posting them on a new channel, which I think I'm gonna call Stinky Cheese Reviews because some of these are. Stinky. Maybe every year. Can I just watch Hocus Pocus or something? I love Hocus Pocus. If this dude doesn't watch Hocus Pocus, you should kick him out of the house, bro. You should dump his ass. I mean, really, Hocus Pocus is like the best Halloween movie ever. This is the one time per year where I... Especially the blonde witch. I get to rope you into watching a scary movie with me. All right, now come on. Bro, I wrote my girlfriend into watching scary movies with me like all the time. I kind of feel bad for her because with me, I am so critical that I will find the most terrifying horror movies that I can and I will I will put her through it. She is a she is a brave person to be with someone like me. It's a classic. <laughs> Again, this movie's not scary. Nightmare on Elm Street is not scary. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks You're like so funny. Too early. Here, I think I got you. Everyone knows that the older kids with better there costumes go. come I got you. at eight. And and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. The more subs and interactivity I get um, on on YouTube is going to help me a lot on the uh, the YouTube algorithm, and they will start to promote me more. The more I get promoted, the more people we get, and the more fun we'll have. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go. Nothing. Yes. 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 <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Very funny. Honestly, I feel like every subscription is literal gold, so you're awesome. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. I swear to God, if it were me and I hear that door one more time, this is me. Ugh. Ugh. Try me, motherfucker. I'd come back to my door. I dare you. I've got a, I've got a shoddy, which is somewhere in my room, and I got my pistol. I would, dude. You want you want to play mass serial killer? Let's go. I'm pretty sure that most mass serial killers do not um, have level level four body armor. So you know, if if they've got if they've got something that can penetrate level four body armor, then then they win. But until then, good luck. Since we're watching scary movies, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back on really quick. Bam. <laughs> bro i'm i'm hooked up trust me i uh i got kids to protect and and shit by the way if you guys are looking for an awesome defensive device i will go ahead and show you the agilite uh k19 plate carrier and i have the level four ceramic plates inside good enough for stopping ak-47 rounds sniper rounds from a dragon off and more it can take all the small arms fire and of course it also cinches for comfort and support if you need to take it off quickly it's got the quick release detachable uh, pieces and uh, it goes for a uh, whopping 200 and i think 70 dollars or something like that it's actually not that expensive <gasps> steak steak and beans and mac oh my god that is that is the perfect that is the perfect midwest meal oh that's what i'm talking about 
Thank you, darling. Yeah, hold on to the knife. Don't let the camera see the knife. You can't have something like that on camera. But this right here, this is what I'm talking about. This is how you keep yourself ready and fit for any dangerous situations that might come your way. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take, uh, yeah, I'll take a little barbecue sauce. That sounds good. Let me see this thing. I'm going to bring this down oh, this way. Boop, 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 boop. Don't be in the way. Oh, don't worry. I was holding it by the uh, tip. <laughs> by the tip. Hi, buddy. Hi, little one. Don't worry. I'll save some some steak for you, bud. Go with mommy. Go with mommy. Good boy. All right. Man got the full set. Damn. I can't see it, but guess on that plate is food. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it's so dark, it's hard to see. Let's see if I can, right here, can, can you see it now? Let me see, oh, yeah, look at that. That is a steak, bro. Look at that steak. It's as big as, it's bigger than my head. Like, for real, though, it's like, it's, it's literally as big as my head. Let's see, I'll bring it over. Look at that. This steak and my face are the same size. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Hell, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and stop the stream now. No, I'm kidding. We got to finish the stream. Yes, I see it now. I can finally know what it is. Food. It is It is the best food. <laughs> Everybody knows the kids with a good cost. Every... Oh, oh, okay. I just cleaned. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's totally me with my girlfriend. These stupid kids. These stupid kids. No, it's funny. Oh, thank you, darling. It's hilarious when you're 12. It. It's a pain in the ass when you're 30. See, again, this is this is the part where it, why would you think it's kids? You just had somebody, you know, ditch you, uh, I, like like knock and 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 run. I would get my I would get my stuff together. They'd be like, "What are you for Halloween?" I'm like, "I am your worst nightmare, for real." Get away from my door. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Tony, I could get me a mask too, huh? No? Wouldn't you like to see what I got, hmm? Wouldn't you like to say hello to my little friend, hmm? I, dude, yeah, no, I'd get out of there. And who are you supposed to be? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Their acting Can actually isn't too bad. It's, it's not terrible. It's not the worst. Trick or treat? <laughs> He's all shaking the bull at him like a dog. Trick, trick or treat? Would you like a treat? Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. This dude's like, you think I'm a kid? Do you not notice the uh, latex gloves for uh, for murdering? Do you not notice the, the mask for hiding my identity? Do you not notice the full black for... Uh, you're fucked like this this is not a good sign i would not be shaking a bowl of candy at this guy okay okay well uh have a great night bud bye-bye mm, bye-bye bye-bye some teenager punk try to freak me out <laughs> freaking punks if I run that, I'm running max speed, dropping everything I had, and probably breaking some of, some or my bones. But if I had to escape, f that bone. I'm still running max speed. <laughs> You're like, I don't even care. It was my tibia, but I don't care. I'm still going. <laughs> oh. What the hell? Mm mm. This is mm mm. You better go get that gun. Mm hmm. You know you got a Colt 45 somewhere. You better go grab that sucker. Oh yeah. You done. You done. This is this is not going to end well for this family. Aren't you a little old to be trick or treating? See, that's what the, everybody says to me. What's wrong with me trick or treating at the age of 32, man? Do do I really have to grow up? Very cool, dude. Yeah. Look, why don't you get your candy and go? Because right. I don't want candy. That's what he's going to say. I prefer the best weapon. Run. I prefer the best weapon. Wait for it. This is my shotgun. I have the combat model, too. I don't think that's the right model. 
Where's the one with my muzzle brake? Yeah, this is this is the closest version to mine. Yeah, yeah, this one has the muzzle brake. This is actually very close to my setup, except I have a red dot sight on here as well. This is my shotgun. This is what I would run to. <laughs> like, for real. Look how beautiful this thing. Oh, what? Reddit. Yay! We found our way to Reddit! We're going to have a Reddit day, by the way. Not not today, but we will have a Reddit day. But yeah, see, um, this guy's got the laser on there. I need to slap on my razor. But not only do not only is this thing a shotgun, which is a wonderful shotgun, um, but the serrated muzzle brake, bro. Like straight up, if somebody comes at you, come at me, bro. I, I, I can go melee with this thing, too. Yeah, this is very close to how mine's set up. All right, let's go back to the video. Okay, fine. Oh, and then of course I've got slugs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Candy revoked. Why don't you just get the fuck out of here? Yeah, now now he's gonna ha he's gonna be a badass. Yo, yo. I said get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, get the get the fuck, bro. I am secretly Donnie Yen, bro. I am I am Black Chan, bro. G get out of here, or else I'm gonna I'm gonna go all G Kundo on that ass. Get the fuck out of here! I'm calling the cops. Oh oh, he's gonna. He's going to call the cops. I, I thought he was going to go Jeet Kune Do. I would go Jeet Kune Do. Throw on the combat boots and, and kick this dude in the face. Hey, I'm serious. Hmm. If a dumb character in that horror movie were watching, I'm getting my weapon when I see him attack and try to do a 360 no-scope for no reason and breaking my... <laughs> you like try to do a 360 no-scope, miss your shot, break your leg, and then you're just laying on the ground and the like killer's just like... I'm just gonna have to do this. And then he like walks over and just <laughs> Happy Halloween, loser. And you have to instigate him. He was leaving. Now everybody's gotta die. Good job. Something's wrong with that guy. We have to call the police. No, that's just some fucking loser. No, that was scary, okay? That was fucking scary. Okay, can I give her a 10 out of 10 for being smart? Let's call the cops. Okay, I, She's shh. smart. Okay, hey, he left, okay? He's gone. And it's, this is just some pathetic loser idea of excitement, all right? Oh, this is a great part of the movie. This is a really good part of this movie. I want to watch this movie now. And trust me, Freddy is child's play compared to that freak. Wait. He said Freddy is child's play compared to that freak. Well, let's let's ignore the fact that they they basically use the titles of horror movies to to make that line. Um, you know, Freddy is child's play. Yeah, that's 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 you know, I like that. But what I don't understand is if you're going to say that Freddy is child's play compared to that freak, wouldn't that technically mean that you're saying that that freak is a lot scarier than Freddy? And you're not calling the police? Pretty sure if you met Freddy in real life, you'd call the police. I'm laying there like as you. I bet you won't kill me while my leg is broken. <laughs> that reminds me of. Hold on. Oh, my God. I got to do it. I've got to do it. Hold on. We're, we've got to watch an iconic scene. Just because of just because of what you said, we are going to watch an iconic scene. Um, so... Uh, Yes. Okay, we gotta we gotta see this part. This is so good. Somebody there? This is what this reminds Hello. me of. <laughs> Speaking of a scream mask, by the way. <laughs> and by the way, do you recognize this actress? This is Nadia from American Pie. She actually came back and did another horror movie. Uh, it's like Night of the Demons, I believe is what it's called. And it was really good. Very funny. Let's see. Guy in hand every like bish. Come on. <laughs> Cut it head. Come on, bish. Up to this, Cindy. Lose the cape. It's way too 90s horror. Way too 90s horror. Way to be self-aware that you're still in the 90s talking about 90s horror. And that is a fake ass knife. What movie is this from? Die, cheerleader, die! 
Yeah. <laughs> Wanna play psycho killer? Can I be the helpless cheerleader? Oh. Oh, so is this where I'm supposed to beg for my life? <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. She's a hella good actress, bro. I don't know what happened to her. I'm gonna have to look her up. Please, Mr. Keller, don't kill me. Please, Mr. Oh. Keller, don't kill me. <laughs> That's where I'm supposed to bleed. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm supposed to run, right? <laughs> that, okay. That. I'm ready. <laughs> if I was the killer, bro, I'd be like, I, I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> Look at that break too. That is a serious break, bro. Like <laughs> There you go, Mr. Scary Killer. I'm panicking now. How can this be so good still? You have got to be a good actress to pull this scene off, dude. Like for yeah. real. I guess this is where I'm supposed to be scared. This is the big climax. Oh, the big climax. <laughs> You know, I never realized she said that that was a Gucci sweater, but for real, I'd be pissed about that if I were her too. You know how expensive a Gucci sweater is? How much is a Gucci sweater? How, how much is that shit? That shit's gotta be expensive. Yeah, bro, you're talking like entry level Gucci is $890, dude. Let's see, white, let's see, white female. Gucci sweater. I'm scared to see what this pulls up for me. <laughs> yeah, it's a white female for sure. Um, so I guess that one's maybe maybe that one's no, that's a cardigan or that's that's a cardigan, but it's not by Gucci. Here we go. Nine hundred and fifty dollars. Entry levels nine hundred and fifty dollars. This one's got the chains, bro. For an extra six hundred dollars, you get chains, bro. Get me the chains. Yeah, dude, those are hella expensive. Here's one. This one's kind of like the one she had. Although the one she had was further, the neck was a little wider. But yeah, $1,400, bro. That dude ruined a $1,400 Gucci sweater. I would I would be hacked. I mean, she got hacked, literally. But I would be hacked, uh, metaphorically. Taking all that. I mean, my dumb self would probably do the same, but... With with the screaming, <laughs> I don't know how she got through all of that. That was a hell of a good scene, though. So, how does a headless body with a Gucci sweat wear a Gucci sweater? Anyways, I know, right? I think she needs to learn to cut her losses and realize, you know, that sometimes you've just got to move on in life. If you're gonna be a a disembodied head, then you've just got to get used to the fact that you know you're you're kind of like a paraplegic now. There's there's no going back. You just got to learn to move forward and get a job for the, the future live action Futurama. There you go. You could be one of the talking heads sitting right next to talking head Nixon. You owe me like two rom-coms and a foot rub for this torture. What I would have given to have been in the audience for opening night for this, right? So this guy... He's not operating on all of his uh, cylinders. And her, uh, she's probably the only reason that he will survive if he survives this. But I have a feeling neither one of them will survive because he decided he didn't need to call the cops nor get his Colt 45, never, nor put on a bulletproof vest, nor do anything other than sit down and watch his crappy projector with the lights they never bothered to turn off. Frosty Robin, what's up? Iconic. How are you? Good to have you. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Imagine you open a box of Lost and Found. 
like, wait, hold on. I need to, I need to go back. All right. So imagine you open a box of lost and found and you just see a Karen head complaining about <laughs> keep it down, Karen. You know, every time somebody comes to the lost and found, you've got to open your mouth and, and it creeps everybody out. Can't you just keep quiet? When somebody finds your body, we will make sure it's returned to you, okay? But until then, you're going to have to hang out here. I mean, where else are they going to return a lost disembo uh, uh, body without a head, all right? Sorry, Karen, keep it down. How you doing? I am good. I am good. We're, uh, we're enjoying the... Uh, the fruits of someone else's labor and uh, commenting and, and doing commentary as to how well their fruits uh, are uh, fruiting, I guess. Palms and a foot rub for this. I will take a foot rub too, actually. I wouldn't mind one. Torture. What I would have given to have been in the audience for opening night for this, right? You know, that doesn't mean Iconic. she has to be you, <laughs> I, I don't I don't remember this scene. Opening night for this. I do not remember this scene in the movie. Iconic. <laughs> Fruits are fruit. <laughs> yeah, see this I remember. This part I don't remember. Hmm. Are these getting dimmer? I mean they're light bulbs, right? That this isn't flame, right? How are these getting dimmer? Oh, this is that moment where you know you fucked up. Ooh. Hmm. Do you do you feel like taking back that moment where where you decided to instigate him and and throw candy at him and call him a freak? I don't know. I, I definitely think hindsight is twenty twenty. Building up the plus version. Boy, does foot rub sound different during November. Oh, it is November, isn't it? Ugh. Gross. Man. Well, you know, I guess I need a foot rub. <laughs> oh, mother of pearl! There's still some left here. It's not the end yet. Chicka treat! Oh, he's a hot dog. What a cute kid. Chicka treat! <laughs> you know, this scene right here made up for this whole video. This this is this is a great scene. This was very creative. I like this one. <laughs> I want, look at how bothered he is too. He's like he doesn't know how to handle this situation. Trick or treat! Oh, they're oh. Uh, Trick or treat! <laughs> he wants that candy, bro. I like your mask. He all sees the candy. <laughs> he just helps himself. I think this killer is just kind of impressed at how this kid is not terrified right now. I, th I honestly think he's going to give him a pass just because this kid is just so cool. Like, literally, most kids would be absolutely terrified. This kid's just like, you're not going to give it to me? It's okay. I don't need people to help me. I'm not a victim. Look, I'll, I'll get it my. It's right there. I'll just. Thanks. I'll just get it myself. Bye. That is. I hope that's my kid. That is awesome. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> that is the cutest kid ever. Even he thinks he's like. He's like, dang. I don't even like humans, but I like that human. That's like that's a cute human. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can play this song, so we're not going to play this song, unfortunately. Wait, hold on. Oh, there's multiple. What are they doing? Are they just going through and killing everybody that doesn't like Halloween? 
There's a third one. Look at them. There, there's so many of them. It's amazing that the kid is obvious and is just completely focused on trick-or-treating. Probably get F in the process. <laughs> I mean, Halloween. So the kid probably thinks it's a costume and my dumb self too. You know, I, I probably would think it's a costume too. I'm not going to lie. But um, let me go back. Where, did you see the murdered bodies in the background? Because if so, I'm, I'm pretty sure that would be a dead giveaway. If this is a good director, they would have hit something in the background like that. So you can't see anything in that first shot, of course. But that's not the one I'm curious about. They do a full full shot here. Trick or treat? <laughs> I like your mask. I like your mask. Okay, no. Okay, so this kid wouldn't have seen it because I guess that was the other room. Okay, fair enough. Then in that case, I would think it's just a costume too. But for me, I feel like the latex gloves would give it away. How many people are going to wear latex gloves when they wear their costume? I, some, maybe. But it's not something you see very often. All right, well, that was fun. That was a fun one. Um, so again, this, uh, this guy only has 316 subscribers. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe and put on the bell notification. I would really like to see what this what this guy um, has in the future. You know, there's got to be uh, more in store. Um, it's Halloween night and something is off. The streets are quiet with no trick-or-treaters in sight. So who is ringing the doorbell? Probably another trick-or-treater. I mean, there were trick-or-treaters out there. It's still, this is 2021, right? Like, there probably weren't a ton of people trick-or-treating. I uh, saw this as an ad on a video I was watching. I was intrigued enough that I wanted to see where it was going, and by the end, I was really glad I did. Simple, short, sweet, spooky, and entertaining. Good job, and happy Halloween. I don't know about spooky. S simple, yes. Short, yes. Sweet, yes. Spooky, eh. and entertaining, yes. Um, this was really great. I love seeing the things you create, and I am proud of you. Is this your mom? Just Angie Films. This I, Is this your mom? This sounds like a mom comment. Thank you for your support, and I'm so glad you enjoyed. At Wellversed Entertainment, heart, heart. Oh, that's got to be mommy. So proud of you. There's dad. We found dad. We've got Scott Dynamo and Just Angie Films. That, that's daddy and mommy. They're so proud. Uh, pretty good. Wasn't expecting there to be multiple killers. Also, Kid in the Hot Dog kiss costume was awesome. I am going to go ahead and like that. Um, all right. Oh, I don't even want to comment it. It's at 69 comments. I'm going to ruin it. I'm not commenting, but I am going to leave a like. There we go. So was it the most amazing video ever? Mm, no, but it was actually really good for it being a newer, newer creator. Um, imagine they all wear Slenderman outfits and masks. No, dude, Slenderman's creepy as shit. It's amazing that the kid is oblivious and is just completely focused on trigger treating. I mean, kids, they don't know any better. You know, kids don't know any better. They, they think candy. You know, they don't think uh, two people butchered in the room next door because they were assholes. You know, they'll find that out in a few years. So, we've got one more video. No, two more videos. We've got They Hear It, and then we will end with Let Them Eat, which... I'm very hungry, so I can attest to this one. Mm. Mm. Let me enjoy that steak real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good steak. Mm. Oh, yeah. Six out of ten for that, man. <laughs> ten, for, ten out of ten for the kid. Yes! Especially that hot dog costume. I saw those everywhere. This year, hot dogs were really big for some reason. No, no Slender Man. Yeah, Slender Man's creepy. We'll have to do a Slender Man video in the future. All right, so this one, um, I don't know. This one has 32,885 views. This guy has 44,000 subscribers, so apparently he makes content good enough that people want to watch it. Um, but this uh, has 818 likes, 52 dislikes. That's a good ratio. 117 comments. There's a lot of activity on this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's 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 try to take a guess. It's called They Hear It. Um, do you think that this will be a good one? Do you think it'll be mediocre? Or do you think it will be a stinky, rotten piece of cheese? I think it's going to be decent. 
Nine out of ten for the smart girl, smartest of all. She was smart. You know, that's... I'm glad you, you, you said that. I am going to touch on that really quick. Most horror movies have the dumbest female roles, which is really sad because I know a, very, a lot of very smart females. I'm telling you, women are, are incredibly intelligent. The way that women are written into plots and roles is really sad. I feel like I have met a lot more women that are a lot more courageous and brave and strong compared to men. I've met a lot of men who are pansies, bro. Um, so, yeah, I, I think women should deserve more credit in roles and they should have a lot stronger roles. I agree with you. She was smart. She was hecka smart. She is the ultimate. That is her ultimate form. Well, because now she's dead, so she, she has no more forms left. But she didn't die of her own volition. That was because of, you know, her, her amazing and studious boyfriend. Did you say the name is They Hear It? Yes. The name of this one is called They Hear It, um, as you can see here. Um, so we're going to see how this one goes. It's by Julian Terry. Some, some sounds only children can hear. Be sure to watch this with headphones for the full experience. Behind the scenes at Julian Movies. Ooh, there's a behind the scenes too. I think it'd be fun to have a behind the scenes day um, for how they shot some of the most iconic uh, horror movies ever made. Cut some pants. Why do you think most kids look like Dumbo? Oh, oh, who's swinging the lamp? We've already, we're already one second in, and then the lamp's haunted. That's a beautiful sky. A beautifully fake sky. What movie do we have here? Dude, this is an old movie. I've seen this. I used to love watching black and white movies. Oh, it's the sleeping doggo. Oh my God, I love the doggo. Look at him. He's so adorable. I want to cuddle the dog. Forget the rest of this movie. Look at those paws. Look at that face. He's so cute. I like titles like that. It makes me uncomfortable. It does, doesn't it? Oh, I don't even want anything bad to happen to them. This should just be a video of them on YouTube being cute because they're sleeping. Oh, that's like my baby when she plays with the puppy. I love it. I love being a dad. I'm not going to lie. Being a dad's the best thing ever. Damn, how the fuck did they get that old TV with 4K camera? <laughs> right? There's none of that um, that screen flickering or anything. That's a, that's a good point. You know what they probably did? Um, I can actually tell you how they did it. I know exactly how they did it. Um, so what they did, let me go back over here. They most likely have a um, green screen here. And if it were me, this is how I would do it. So um, I, would, I would do it twofold. One, I would take a picture uh, or I would take a video of me panning across the screen with these. And then I would green screen, put like a, a green picture here. And then I would go to OBS and I would actually film this in OBS. And then you would probably have to use another software to layer it onto the screen while you're doing your pan shot. So it stays consistent in the shot. And then you're also, there's probably multiple layers here. They probably had to layer the, the lamps on there too. That, that would be my guess about how they did that. There's a, there's a tiny amount of screen flicker, but if you look, I mean, this, this isn't fully hitting the dimension of the TV. So I definitely think that this was like some type of green screen effect. In the past and used it for <laughs> This guy's like the only guy that's got a freaking time machine. He figured it out, bro. I, I like titles like that. Makes me uncomfortable. Yo, what's up? It's JP. What's up, bro? Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Glad you're back. Back for the scary. See that? I don't know. The computer shows a pressure. Aww. I would totally love this. This is going to be my kiddos when they get older. And if anything bad came into the house, here comes dad bounding down the stairs with his shotgun to protect his family.
Yeah, see, it's definitely got to be a green screen effect because if you look now, it's actually bordering the uh, the actual edges of the window or the, the screen. This shouldn't have been like that. I mean, back in the day, they didn't shoot films with the edges cut off the sides. Uh, they would shoot films with the edges cut off on the top to give it that widescreen look, but... Uh, family time poor kiddos I don't understand why kiddos gotta go through all this it's so sad if I did that my mom saw I, I'm going into a com yeah dude parents get mad about that electric bill bro me I don't care I'll leave I'll leave the TV on like even when I leave just to make people think I'm home This looks like a great movie. I want to watch this movie. I seriously feel like I've seen this before, though. <laughs> so one thing I noticed is that they there's definitely no attention on the adults at all. Um, they they are literally just just nothing in this story. So that's. That's scary for the kids. Why? Okay, hold on. Why? No. Why would you leave your kid's window open at night? Hell no. I am I am closing that ish. I am putting a bar across that ish. I'm going to layer it with metal. Oh, look at the doggo. He's so cute. Look at those ears, bro. This dog is perky. They say that kids are sensitive to the spookies. I have heard that. I have heard that. But my, but my Asian mom, I'm definitely going in a coma for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Dude, my girlfriend's mom's Asian. She's, um, she's Hmong. And, uh, yeah, dude, she's, she's, she knows. She's, I, I can attest to that, you know. Asian moms are, are great. They are hard, but they are great. Max. Dead dog. No. He's a Doberman. He shouldn't die. Dobermans are fierce as shit, dude. Max? Bro, if you're out there in the woods, hell no. Why are these kids out at night on their own? Why is the gate open? I have so many questions. Why don't you lock anything? Background parents? Yeah. Dude, background parents are so much better than the helicopter parents. See? Window open. Why is the window open? Don't wonder why this thing's about to attack you guys. Because your parents are nowhere to be found. He's dirty. <laughs> this kid needs a bath, dude. What is on his face? Man saw someone running naked and just standing there with bleeding eyes. Wait, right now? Did I miss something? Was there a, was there a naked man running in the background? Why are they alone? That's what I'm saying. Where are the parents at? Max? Oh, okay, okay. I had to check, you know. I was like, wait, there he is, there he is. No, I'm kidding. No naked man. This kid seriously needs a bath. <laughs> That's my brain being weird. It's good. You should make a scary movie. Don't do it. What? How did the gate get to almost being closed? That that gate was hell open in that shot right before. Okay, really quick, look at this thing. It is all the way over here. But then in that next shot, it's all the way over here. Yeah, I'd be terrified too.
But how did you not notice something closing your gate? How did the dog not freak out about that? Oh, it's because it's a scene inconsistency. Gotcha. That is a nice house. See, now look at it. It's literally just like inches from the lock now. How? What? That dog has the veins, though. That dog is hella cute. It's hecka cute, bro. I love that dog. I want that dog. Doberman, Dobermans are, are sick. That's a, that's a mix, though. My scary movie is just a guy standing in the middle of a field, and the owner of the field saw him and just stands there looking at him. Motherfucker. <laughs> Like, just damn it. Ah, uh, yes, the door creaking would have made me run away. Me too. I think the fact that the dog's just staring there would have made me run away. Look at this dog. Just run into the house. What is with scary movies? People hearing terrifying sounds and then just standing there. All I know is that goes completely against the base psychology of fight or flight. So horror movies definitely have to create situations that aren't real just to make it work. Standing in the field naked, that is that is terrifying. You wouldn't even need a scary guy out there. You'd just need to... If you're naked in a field anywhere, that'd be terrifying. God, being naked and afraid. Oh, you see what I did there? No, nope. Time to eat yourself inside the house. The fuck is the. F <laughs> crickle, crackle, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Damn, damn it. Sorry. I'll be serious. Oh. Okay, so it is controlling the fence. Call your dog. Yeah, that's about where you, uh, this is the, you are, you should have been in the house, like, way before this. That poor dog! Well, you were right, Farrell. You, you, Farrell, you were, you were totally right. There goes the doggo. Why do they have to do that to the doggo? Why can't we have a horror movie where the dog survives? LOL, my ears. Oh, is it really loud? Here, I'll turn it down a little bit for you. How's that? Let me know if that's good. Yeah, hell no. Again, the shotgun. The shotgun. And I'm going to get my bullets blessed by a priest. You're like, yeah, but shotguns don't do anything to ghosts. They do when, you're, when they're anointed or when they're blessed by priests. It doesn't matter if it was a damn squirrel or an owl. I will run, scream, and cry. <laughs> Dude, speaking of owls, if in some cultures, owls are very terrifying. Dog got impaled. How do you know the dog got impaled? It sounded like he got squashed. But I mean, I could be. We could both be wrong. He got. They snapped his head back and forth. They snapped his head back and forth. God damn. She stole the president's red phone. How is he going to make calls in the in the Oval Office uh, of of, emer of emergency reasons without his red phone? <laughs> that that's what this is all about. It's the Secret Service. They're just trying to get their red phone back. Rocks all, yeah. There's a chance that dog got impaled because I voice and don't ask how I know. <laughs> You're like, trust me, don't. Don't argue with me. Just trust me, okay? He got impaled. I know. Because I've done it. What? Oh. Oh. So, so literally you can't even see it. All you can do is hear it. That sucks. You didn't even close your door. That sucks. Your little brother's by himself? That sucks. You kids have no parents at the house? That sucks. Your dog's dead? That sucks. Basically, this just sucks. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, hell no. 
why why would you do that why do you need to do that you don't need a you don't need a flashlight jack really really you think jack was out in the woods impaling the dog that he loved so much and now broke into your house is running around that's jack Oh my gosh, the force is not with this one. Rock salt may hurt ghosts. I'm curious now. Oh. oh, hell no. Did it actually close the door? Did I miss that? No, no, it bounced. Uh-uh. Nope, nope. Nope. It's got to be a skinwalker, dude. It's got to be a skinwalker. At this point, I'm jumping out of the window and breaking my legs again in the process and just wait there. Just accept your fate, you know. But at least you tried and, uh, you know, you didn't make it, but you tried. I've still got orange juice. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and why are they in the middle of the woods? You know, I don't know. And where are their parents at, man? You're going to leave your kids in the middle of the woods with no supervision? This girl is like five years old okay she's like 12 but still i think i think your kids have to be 13 or older before you're allowed to leave them home by themselves and even at that rate dude that's that's just not okay i would never leave my kids home like this my my kids will be 18 years old and i'll be like did you did you want me to stay i, I can i can pull in the tank would would you do you want me to bring the tank i got the tank and she'd be like no dad I'd be like, okay I mean, don't say I didn't. I didn't offer. Do you rocket launcher? Do you want a rocket launcher? I could bring that. A couple grenades. Oh no! You just predicted she's gonna find the dog head. No, 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 no. And did she just hear her brother? Consolation prize. No, that's the thing. There are some interesting sounds in this. We have had some really cool sensory videos tonight. I thought some of these would suck, but these are actually pretty good. Is she going to find the dog? Yeah. Oh, why would you need to look? Why would you need to do this? Is that her brother? Oh, it's, it's got her brother. That poor kiddo. She she didn't even try to go for her brother. She she literally went the other direction. I think she did this on purpose. She wanted to use her little brother as bait, you know, cuz cuz he's so annoying. I don't like the prediction thing. <laughs> I don't either, Robin. It's okay. I'm with you. Yep. It got her brother. Oh, That poor kid didn't even get a bath. Jeez. And it turned out the light. If this was my daughter, I would be so mad. <laughs> Yep, dog got impaled, shot in the body, or head is in the body, or all the above. Dude, she's going, she's hella going out in the woods. I mean, her brother's gone now, so she kind of has to. Try explaining that one to dad. There's something here. Look, there's something right here. I wonder what it is. Yeah, you can hear it breathing. Don't ask what I'm saying. No, little boy, no. Okay, he looks okay. Or the dog got hay. Why, why do you keep thinking about that? Oh my goodness. What do you have against doggies? <laughs> 
Ah, Dead Zone. What's up, Dead Zone? Welcome to the chat. You came just in time. Guess who was asleep all day? Were you asleep all day because you were up all night watching scary, scary videos on YouTube? Hmm. Did I have something to do with that? I hope so. Check. No, I'm just saying. Okay, just checking. You never know. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Is there something over here? Well, let's 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 look at her scene here. All right, so let's see. I don't see anything just yet. Mm -mm. All right. So it looks like he's like being controlled. That was really well done. No, do not turn around. I don't I don't want to see your face. This is this is going to be it. No, I'm just kidding. Looking at dead dog. Oh yes, death zone and something is going to be a death zone too. This is a death zone, bro. I would stay far away from this. This guy be putting the dog through a ringer through predictions. <laughs> I know that poor dog. Yes, but also cuz I wanted to pull an all-nighter. Didn't you pull an all-nighter like two nights in a row? Do you sleep? No, nope, yep, nope. Somebody gonna die. I think the brother is the demon. Could be. I mean, this is this is the last time I babysit mom and dad. Okay, who thinks the flashlight's gonna turn on at the last second to provide us with an awesome jump scare? Face is going to be F. <laughs> it probably will be, dude. Uh, was there blood on the boy's hand? Ooh, let's take a look before this reveals what's happening. I am curious. All right, we're going to take a look one more time. Let's see if there is blood on the boy's hand. Nah, he gone. I might be as well nocturnal. <laughs> Yo, what's up, JP? Why is she not running? I don't know. I'd run. Okay, sorry. I was looking at ch chat. I think it's just a reflection of the light. I don't see any blood. Bro, if my brother was acting like this, I'd be like, see ya. That was sick. That was good. That was good. Oh, that was cool. I like that. That was that was a twist. <laughs> so that so the boy's already gone. He's he's done. He's done so. Boy snapped the dog's neck. No. Bro, she is like out in the woods, man. Oh hell no. So I have my headphones on. It sounds like it's running to the to the right of her. Oh, heck no. They've got some pretty decent shots in here. I like I like how they're doing this. It's subtle, which makes it more creepy. Okay, we are legit about to see this creature. Who here thinks that this creature is going to be terrifying? And who here thinks that seeing the creature is going to take away anything that makes this actually terrifying? Sometimes when they show the creatures, it's it's definitely not terrifying in the least. That way, that boy poofed away. He did. He did. Both. Oh. Okay. Um, I think she's lost. I think so too. Oh no! It's his shirt. Oh, poor kiddo. No. That's just sad. He's got a stegosaurus on it. Dude, this is so sad. Uh-oh. Is it up in the tree? That flashlight would be so annoying.
Oh, that was pretty good. That was a skinwalker. That was definitely a skinwalker. And just for all you guys, I'm going to pause it on the, on the creature. Yeah, it's not too bad. They did a good job. I don't know how this thing's going to eat anything with those teeth, though. Those teeth look like they're just going to fall out. Although, I don't think I would want to be consumed by this thing. I would hate to see how things come out. Repeat again. <laughs> Demon shapeshifted is my guess of the monster. Yeah, it totally did. Dog probably knows the boy is in the forest and ran to the boy in which the boy was able to kill the dog. Yeah. All right. Thank you for giving me nightmares. You are welcome. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm here for. It's probably spelled like Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, you know, again, I have so many questions. Where were the parents? Why were these kids home alone? Why did you leave the window open at night? Who does that? You know, like, I, I know people that crack it, but who's going to leave their window fully open at night? I mean, unless you're like me and you live, like, up on the top floor. That doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> rotting, starving skinwalker. Yeah, skinwalkers are annoying. They dead, dead. They are. All right, so that one was from Julie and Terry. I am going to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to go watch this one on your own, make sure to head on over to my YouTube page and check out the description there. On the In the description, you will find the links to all the videos that we have watched tonight. And after this uh, live stream, you can always go back and review the video yourself as well. Um, I will be cutting these up and turning these into an actual video, so let's see what the comments say. Man! You did it again! Can't wait to see more of you. I am usually disappointed with short horrors that end with a jump scare. However, I will, or let's see. I'm usually disappointed with short horrors that end with a jump scare. I think he tried to do two sentences in one sentence and he lost train of thought. However, I was waiting and, for and wanting to see the jump scare this time as the setup was tense. Yeah, he's like he's like doing like two sentences and losing his train of thought halfway through the first sentence. Talent was great, sound design was spot on, color grading, etc. Lush. Good luck for the future for the feature length version. I would like to see that in a full length video, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know what to say. You really just dunked on all of us with this one. Gloriously excited for the feature. Amazing work as always. Julian. Yes, very, very good. Um, or the dog was a skin crawler. I think the dog was just a dog, and he unfortunately suffered the consequence of the parents not wanting to be home. That's what happens when you rely on your dog to do all the babysitting. <sighs> Poor four-legged buddies. All right, so this is the last one. This one is not scary. I Again, I kind of watched a little bit of this one, um, but this one is really good. So uh, at least what I saw seemed to be really good. This is called Let Them Eat. We have 6,981 views, only 123 subscribers. So, yeah, that's... I think they need more subscribers, for sure. Is my baby crying for me? Hold on. Is she good? Uh, I would put her in the playpen. She, if she's going to cry, you might as well put her in there anyways. That'll give you a chance to eat. <laughs> just so you guys can see, this is hilarious. So if you look, you can see my dog's just sitting there watching. She wants to get into the playpen, and my girlfriend's trying to eat. <laughs> All she wants is to get out and walk around. But she's got so much space to walk around in. Ugh, kiddos are so funny. All right. Well, I will help out with that as soon as we're done here. So we have this last video. We're going to go ahead and watch that. Yo, Linsosi! Is that... Is that Lynn Soston? What? Hey, yo, let him eat noodle with me too, father. It is. Yo, sis, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Oh, my God, it's been a long time. How are you? That comment that had two comments mixing is like me trying to get my thoughts together and talk. Me too sometimes, honestly. I get so tongue-tied sometimes when I talk. Isn't there a short film where kids pay for ice cream with fingers? 
Yes, that is. Um, I think it's an altar one. Thank you for bringing that one up. Yeah, I know exactly which one you're talking about. That's the that's the ice cream man one. It's uh, it's. I'm pretty sure that's altar. Let me see. Um, altar ice cream. Let's see what that brings up real quick. Yeah, this guy right here. This this one right here. This is where. Um, I think this is the one. This might not be the one. No, this is a different one. I forgot about this one. This is not the one I think of it. I'll, I'll find it. I'll look for it tomorrow, and I will find that one. I do want to review that one. That one's really good. I, I know exactly which one you're talking about. Creepy. Yes. Oh, absolutely. All right. Last one. Here we go. So again, I, I'm super surprised this one only has 123 subscribers. If this one is good, he's only got two films. Um, and one of them is just a trailer. Uh, this one premiered October 30th, so totally new streamer. 6,981 views for only having 123 subscribers. That's insanely good. How is YouTube promoting this on their algorithm with only six comments? How? 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 YouTube hates me, dude. YouTube will not promote any of my content. It's really sad. Um, hey, I'm in time for the last. That's right. If you guys want to catch the ones that were before this, make sure to pop to the front of the uh, live stream after it uh, after it premieres i think the live stream should be on like a couple hours after i get done it, it'll take a little bit of time to upload though all right here we go god that still surprised me only 123 subscribers and he gets more promotion than i do so dark creeds productions no, don't they look like such a happy couple? It says home sweet home. There's beautiful flowers. Nothing in the entire world could go wrong. I'm a check for you. It's probably one, please. I'm a check for you. Yeah, see if you can find it for me. Um, if you can find it, that would be awesome because I'll review it tomorrow. I'll be, of course, I'll be back on tomorrow. You gonna get into SCP? Yes, um, we are gonna have a couple nights where we do topic specific videos. Um, and I was thinking that what we'd do is, you know, start doing the SCPs, but we would do like one at a time, and we would spend an entire night just reviewing that SCP and learning about it and stuff like that. So yes, we are definitely gonna do that. Thank you, Robin. By the way, I will credit you with that idea. So you guys. Robin, it, it, you, you got to thank Robin for that. We're going to go through all the different SCPs and learn about them. Death is always in home sweet home. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Why do you think the suburbs are such a battlefield for adults? Oh. She looked quite serial. Those are some fancy pants. All right, Miss Fancy Pants, let's see what you got. She got her fancy pants, her fancy shirt. Look at how serious she is. This, she ain't fucking around. This, this is like, compared to the last video, this is, this is a total 180. Or I mean, compared to the last scene with her in the picture, this is a total 180. She was all smiling and happy, and now look at her. She is dark and, and dreary. Um, I may not learn too much about the SCP. Felon, I think there is a movie called Home Sweet Home. Uh, yep, there is, mate. I have not seen it, I don't think. Or maybe I have. Have I? Maybe I have. Which one are you thinking? This one? Is this what we're talking about? Maybe that's why I haven't seen it. This does not look like my style of movie. In fact, for me, this would be terrifying. This, this is a horror movie. Building a, building a new beginning, one crooked nail at a time. Natasha Buer and Ben Elliott. Oh, no, that's not the one. Okay. <laughs> is it this one? Home sweet home. Oh, this one. If it's this one, I have not watched this one. I've seen this one pop up on my, uh, I think my Amazon Prime a couple times, but I have not watched this one yet. Mm, yeah, that ain't it. <laughs> it really is. Oh, no. Need to, old man. SCPs are hella interesting. Yeah, we're definitely going to do those. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and get rid of this here. 
Alright, yeah, let's get rid of that terrifying thing there. This is this is a nice neighborhood. Uh, what do you think? Like Pennsylvania or something? Yeah, those those are some lush forests. That would tell me that you're probably closer to sea level. Um, I would say this is like Pennsylvania. If it is on the west coast, this would probably be something like Oregon, or maybe North California. It says eat in the background. What is she reading? What is what is this? Is she an alien, bro? Don't lie, you can't read that. Mmm, potatoes. Maybe. Louisiana? I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. They have forests that are like that. What is that? That's a heart. I think that was a heart. Yeah, that's a heart. You can you can see it. This is uh this is the portion of it that that um expands. That's why it's kind of like that. And then it's got these uh white kind of uh tenderness parts that are that are keeping it together, you know, that don't don't let the heart rip apart when it's beating. That's definitely a heart. All right, let's stop. All right, let's just watch. <laughs> Mm, them is some good utensils. Isn't that the husband? Who's this chick? Isn't his wife inside? There's three cars. Why does he have three cars? That didn't look like her car. Didn't he get out of the driver's seat? Oh no, she got out of the driver's seat. Okay, okay. I must be getting tired. Bro, that is not how you greet someone who's not your wife. Me thinking everyone that was shown are dead, dead, dead. They are all gonna die. Dramatic dining. Mm. Food just ain't good unless it's dramatic. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I want I want to show you something. Look at the way he keeps touching her back. That is not how you touch the back of a friend. Yeah, see, he just tried to touch her butt. And now he's touching her back. Ooh. You guys are brave, dude. Seriously? Oh, the Eskimo kissed. This guy is a is a dog. He's a dog. He's a dirty dog. Food ain't good if someone take away my god food. <laughs> what a dirty dog. Let them eat. Yeah, I mean, what are, is this? Is this whole video just gonna be us watching them at dinner? Hey, yo, they getting freaky in public. I don't. I don't believe hey, buddy, in public displays of affection. Hey, God. Hi, guys. I swear I'm not poisoning your food. Oh, man, it's smelling good in here. <laughs> Get a room, boy. Hey. Yeah, boy. What do you think this is? You think this is the hub? Hmm? Yeah, boy. Let me here. <laughs> Ooh, look at that look. Look at that. That is that is a stone cold gaze, bro. That that girl's gonna be dead in the next scene. Like like we'll probably go back and pan to the shot of her dying just from that gaze. There are daggers in that gaze. How was work? It was. She all like smiles. Yeah. If it were me and somebody looked at me that way, I would I would notice it. It's okay. You know how the office is. Always chaotic. That's right. It is chaotic, especially when you know you're you're doing the boss. This smells amazing, Kyle. Mm-hmm. Human smells good when you cook human. It really does. Well, you sure are Actually, lucky. I wouldn't know. No, I already know. I'm definitely the luckiest guy in the world. Oh, my God. Stop it. I like how he says that, but he doesn't even, like, touch her. He's just like, I'm the luckiest guy in the world, but I ain't even going to touch her. I ain't even going to kiss her. 
I ain't even going to do nothing for, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would, would you, would you prefer to have, you know, a relationship with the blonde? She seems nice. She seems normal and down to earth. Or would you prefer to have a relationship with Miss Monster over here who probably poisoned all the food? <sighs> Two chicks vying for the attention of a man. Polyamorous? Cheating? Cheating, I think. Uh, smell like burned dog. That's right. That's right. That human smells like some burned doggy. How would you know what that smells like? Getting freaky and dinner next, probably. Probably. I mean, how are you going to eat the food? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta feed each other and stuff. You know, it's, it's gotta get, gotta get dirty. Uh, smell like burned dog. I'm still thinking about Lucifer because that look when she gave her. Oh yes, yes, that looks like Lucifer. It does. Her name is Lucy. Fur. They cheating and she knows, don't she? I think so. That look she gave. That's, that says something. Well, the food's gonna get cold, so everyone, you know, sit down and oh, yeah. let's eat. Speaking of cold food. Got a beautiful steak here. This is called Let's Eat, so I, I'm I'm gonna eat. You know what? We should start doing dinner in a movie. Frick, Lucifer in disguise. Hell yeah. Hmm. I'm curious here. Hmm. Is that gla glass leaning? Oh my god, I would hate those glasses. This would screw with me. Every time you like go pick up the glass, you're like, oh, oh shit, oh it's okay. Whew. I thought I, th I thought it was tipping. Like I would probably knock these glasses over all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, her pants aren't black though. It's just her shirt. It's as black as her heart. The heart that she just cooked. And it's probably black because, you know, she cooked her own heart. And now it's just like charcoal, basically. It's just it's just like a giant, well-done piece of char. That's her heart. Mm. That's it. She's doing some French cooking over here. Are those snails? What job does this guy have? Do you realize how much money they've got in this house, dude? I love it when you cook. Me too. Me too. I, 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 I'm, I'm living vicariously through him. You know, just imagining how it tastes. Eating snails. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love snails. Fancy. Yeah, this is really good. Lucifer confirmed. Is this on your menu? Mm -hmm. It is actually. You know what else is on my menu? You bitch. You know, people always love a good steak. <laughs> so she, a steak, this is, this is your idea of a steak? Tell me, which steak would you rather have? Do you want this juicy, succulent, amazing, Huge steak that's the size of this massive plate and bigger than my hand. Or do you want that? That is like a piece of the steak. It's like she cooked one steak and then chopped it up into bits and then just shared it among three people. Three people are sharing one steak. And I thought this was snail, but it's it's like a snail shell with like something in it. I don't know what this is. This is French cooking. I don't I don't do French cooking. It's just it's not that it's not good. It's just not enough food for me. Look at this. How do you survive on this? How this this does not have the amount of calories you need in a daily diet. Hmm. I gotta get this steak out of my tooth real quick. Hold on. Ah, yeah. That is hella annoying. Okay. We are... Hold on. I still got a little bit. Ah! Ooh, that was fun. Okay. So, I don't know about you, but this just ain't enough food for me. No wonder why the title is called Let Them Eat. Like, let them eat. Like, get them some food. Like, that, that you can't eat on this. Let's eat. 
Let's eat. Well, this sounds like an exciting dinner. Look at this wonderful conversation everybody's having. How fun. I love it when you cook. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. Oh, they're talking. I was wondering. Is this on your menu? It is, actually. <laughs> Fair enough, for all. That's funny. Yo, Kaimara Lens, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome to the chat. Thank you for joining us. I hope you don't scare easily. Actually, this video is probably not that scary. Yet. This one's just going to be interesting. You know, people always love a good steak. Mmm, <laughs> steak. That's not a steak. So, Those are medallions. Nothing too crazy for me, but Kyle, he had a hell of a day. <laughs> Mr. Seavers had him running all over the place. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he was running everywhere, like right into your pants, lady. We were prepping for this case, and of course, none of the interns are ready. Kids these days, bunch of idiots. <laughs> oh, look who's talking. <laughs> you brought the girl that you're, you're, you're doinking over to, to meet your wife. And you guys are having dinner like you're on a like on a triple date here, and and your wife has claws as sharp as as you know her intellect. So I'm pretty sure you're fucked. I mean, how hard is it to keep your stuff in order, keep your files in line, over and over and over again? Same thing, asking the same damn question. Look at those claws, bro. That's scary, bro. Like she would she would dig your heart out of your chest and just and then just stomp on that like whoo I wouldn't mess with her so hmm hmm these shots are actually really well done I'm actually highly impressed I was wondering when you guys were going to tell me you've been fucking <laughs> oh, 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 and we just come out of the gate with it over in the right corner, weighed in at only 128 pounds, we have the lady in black with claws of steel. And over in the left corner, we've got the blonde. She's come with a bombshell, but will it be enough to defeat the anarchistic antichrist of all time? Stay tuned and find out. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Did you not understand me? No, I didn't. What did you say? Could you repeat it for me? Maybe I need to say it slower. Please, you were, you were, you, you speak too quickly. My one brain cell is having a hard time processing the information. When did you start fucking my husband? Oh, 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 it's clear now. <laughs> it's clear now. Okay. So about that, um, this happened like, I don't know, a few days ago. He just saw me. I was, you know, walking down the hallway. He decided, you know, he was going to place his hand on his on my rump. And I was like, hey, you know, if, if you're going to if you're going to do that, you got to go all the way. And we we had sex. That's that's about how it happened. Oh, are you mad? That is enough. Shut up. That is a I am the man. That is enough. I think she wears the pants. Kyle, I don't have to hear this, Meg. I can't believe you think I would do that. Yeah, I can't. I can't, I can't believe you're going to come into my house, eat my food, sit there, look me in the face, and lie to me. I mean, technically she didn't look you in the face. And, and she did eat your food, but you offered the food. So, I mean, it's kind of your fault. Although I will say, like, her acting is spot on, bro. She's a badass actress. I would love to see her in a feature-length film. She would be really good. These other two are just water weight. Let's see. Oh, let me see what you... <laughs> She's speaking in blonde language. Uh, for her to understand, and it's, it's, it's the Karen language. To understand the language. Oh, that's what the book was! That's what she was reading! She was reading the Book of Karen. Is that what this is? Let's go back to the Book of Karen. I want to see the Book of Karen. This is why every time you meet a... Yeah, yeah. Th th this is... 
this is the book of Karen. We have found the connecting piece to all Karens of all time. The book of Karen. I knew it. I knew there was a common denominator between all of these Karens and why they act the way they do. Bro, the Karens are technically the succubus. <laughs> Bro, I told you guys you'd learn something tonight. Yes, sorry. I, I want to make like a. Oh, 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 it's I went too close. Or I went too far. <laughs> I gave it away. I'm sorry. Did you not understand me? The Book of Karen, where Lucifer can only have. <laughs> Fucking? Fucking oh. My husband. All right, that is enough. Shut enough. Up, Kyle. I don't have to hear this, Meg. I, mean, I can't believe you think I would do that. I do. I would think it. I can't it. believe you're gonna come into my house, eat my food, sit there, look me in the face, and lie to me. Technically, I'm not looking you in the face. <laughs> I mean, once you see the wife get pissed off, tell you something like that, and then walk away, that should be a clue. You probably just should book it. You know, just leave whatever you have there. Just don't worry about it. Cut your losses. He's a douche, and get the hell out of Dodge, because uh, this is what happens. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Hmm. You know, I gotta say, he seems to be handling it well. I mean, he doesn't even seem to be reacting to this. I think he's been through this before. She's just probably fed up. This is probably like the fourth or fifth time she's had to kill her competition. When you're cutthroat like her, you, you have to have sharp nails because you got these kind of issues lying around. Them nails, I know. I'm a big fan of the nails. Oh, that looks hella fake. It's so fake. This part looks good. This part looks fake. It looks like fake skin. And then why is the chain so tiny and small? Yandere. <laughs> uh, bunny. Bunny? Her name's Bunny? She doesn't look like a bunny to me. Is she part of the Bugs family? Because, you know, Bugs' last name is Bunny. Hmm. You there? Oh. Yes. Sorry. I was, um, I zoned out. My bad. What were you saying? Oh, damn. <laughs> He's looking at her like, Not now. I like this one. Her and I have just been porking on the side, man. Can't you get over it? Like, what are the eyes for? This is this is when the Book of Karen takes over. Yeah, I just want you to finish the food I worked so hard on. How can I finish the food when you're looking at me like that? Karen, do I need to remind you that you were on a diet? Glad to see your life. Her eyes look awesome. Liking it. Oh my god. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm eating like a... What is it? Like a... Come on, come on, finish it. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice your eyes before. They look cool. They look cool. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> when the light hits them in a certain way, it changes colors. Yeah, yeah just like all that bullshit that you just uh, spouted. Genetic. Her brother. A well, if you ever watch a Karen video, I'll tell you what those eyes are. If you ever watch a Karen video, uh, those eyes are, are exactly um, what a Karen looks like right before, uh, you know, things go south. So if you ever see uh, a Karen in the wild and, and she's got that wild look in her eyes, well, here you go. This is, this is your warning. This, this is to teach you, okay? 
And I should bring it up really quick since we are streaming. This is copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. This one at this point is falling under education and research. Seriously, though, I'm kidding. This is more about co criticism and commentary. That's interesting. Cool. Look like the devil. Oh, Baba Boucher, didn't I tell you that girls are the devil? What what did Mama always say about about, about all them women? My, 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 my mama said my mama said that that, that girls are the d d devil. Uh, and and you too, Vicky Valacoy, you 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 you're also the d d devil. Funny, I see you. You didn't touch your food. That's not the food she wants. She wants to eat Can your you heart out, too bro. Much after cooking? Takes me a minute. Yeah. Jeez. She's like, wow, bro. You must really like this girl because you're like trying to call me out. We do this all the time and you're calling me out. Am I ever going to get eat if you keep scaring away the food? Damn, she finished that shit. Julie, would you like some more wine? Sure. Um. How about something stronger? <laughs> He's like, come oh, on, I tried to help you. <sighs> you can't help stupid. Well, let's head to the living room. Well, it's not. Let's head outside to the front porch, into my car, and uh, far away from this house. Huh? I didn't realize I had 800 Warzone points. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. By the way, guys, keep in mind, um, new seasons, the next new season that comes out for Warzone, I will be giving away season passes for again. And next new season for Fortnite next month, I will also be giving away three season passes. Um, so I hope you guys are ready. Battle pass, whatever. Season pass, whatever. Yeah, mm, that's a that was a nice house, bro. Look at look at the size of this freaking backyard. Like, why do you need a backyard this big with nothing in it? There's no gazebo. There's no flower garden. There's no nothing. Where's the hot tub? Where's the pool? Why do we just have a house with a giant backyard that is as barren as the Sahara Desert? I don't know. That's so a big house. Going on for the rest of the week. Oh. If I was to look up on this house, this house on Zillow, I I'm thinking this house would probably be in the like one to like one point four million range. This is this is a very expensive house. Well, um, just finalizing. She gonna kill all the Karens? She is the Karen to kill all Karens. It's like uh, Highlander. Um, one Karen exciting. to rule them all. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. You're yeah, the role model that's gonna that's like totally about to kill me. Aww. Aww. You're so sweet. Yeah. My food my food's always so sweet before I eat it. And that's really funny. Funny? How so? It's funny because you really think you have me tricked. Oh! Oh, you just got called out. Is this one fake again though? I hope this one's real. Is she daydreaming? I'm not understanding. <laughs> <laughs> See the look she gave? She she knows exactly. It's funny because you really think you have me tricked. Yeah, I'm not under Yeah, look at those eyes. She's like, Did you did you tell her? You son of a bitch. This is the last time you get any of this. You know, like no, this this she knows. She knows she, she, it's over. It's over. And look at how he's sitting over here. In fact, um, one of the things that I like is blocking in scenes. Um, and in this scene, Standing. one of the things that I like about it is that they have actually placed him in between both of them. And and they did this in the last scene, too. Um, but that's usually supposed to signify a barrier between the two parties or the two actors or, or, or actresses in that scene. Um, in this case, it is symbolizing the fact that he stands between the two of them. Um, the fact that he's actually closer to her symbolizes that he is actually on her side. He knows what he's doing. And the fact that she's been placed uh, kind of by herself is, is a foreshadowed to the fact that something is going to happen. And and that he is not going to be taking her side over the situation. See, I've been trying to wrap my head around it, and I just Hannibal can't quite understand why you <laughs> That's even good. do it. 
Wrap your head around what? The fact that you've been fucking my husband. Honey, come on now. Shut up, Noodle. Okay, Meg, Shut I don't up, have to hear noodle. this. You're drunk, so we can talk about this tomorrow. What the hell's your problem? Yeah, what's your problem? Julie, you all right? Nope, she's not good. She poisoned. She's dead. She dying. Up here. Yeah, she's not poisoned, but I think that she put a sedative in her drink because she looks like she's just kind of like out of it. Although she said she said she wanted something stronger, so they just obliged. Hey. It's okay. Here, get her some water. Yeah, get her some water. That'll that'll help. You okay? You okay? You you you've been drugged. You can't move. Are you okay? Are you good? I'm. I swear I'm a nice guy. I I only cheat on my wife. She eats the heart out of you know the people that she hates. And are you are you are you okay? Lenny, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I will slit his fucking throat right now if you don't come clean. Wow. I don't I don't want, I wonder why you would think that the other chick would even care at this point. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Yeah. Oh, that is. Oh, man, look at that face. That is the face only a Karen could love. Luring victims in kind of stuff. Are these two actually working together? You know, that's actually. You, you are very observant. That's exactly what I think is happening here. But she seems to be like on some other demonic level. I think he's just a normal human. Yeah, she is the devil. Love of my life. Apple of my eye. Okay, okay. <laughs> I I like the uh I like the the you know sarcasm there. Apple of my life, love of love of my life, apple of my eye. I was gonna say apple of my life, love of my eye. Fuck. Fuck. I've been fucking your husband. I'm I'm sorry, okay? Can you yeah, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to let him do the things that he said he wanted to do for, like, you know, the past year. You just let us go. Yeah, just let us go. Why, why would you say us? You know, you really think that this lady, who's at this point already drugged you, is, is going to just let you go. Okay. Finally is the truth. Finally. Don't you feel better now? Not really. Not really. I, I'm pretty sure she still feels drugged. The fuck is your problem? Yeah, yeah. What's your problem? Yeah, what's wrong with you? I mean, we were we were just doinking it, okay? I was just dipping my bagel in her coffee, okay? I mean, it's like Dunkin' Donuts every morning, you know? But But it's like... It's just it's just none of your business. What is wrong with you? Just go with it. I'm just Just go with it. Trying to scare her a bit. A bit. A bit. You fucking drugged her, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she like tries to act like at this point it's like no big deal. She's like, look, I'm just I'm just trying to scare her. It's just a little drugs. It's nothing. <sighs> As he is the one You're who, crazy. yeah, <laughs> Karen Sorry, level 150, 150 out of 100. Yeah, no, this is definitely, she's, she's an overachieving Karen. Apple of my life, I'm going to use that. <laughs> but you Love it. of my eye, apple of my life. Hello. Yeah. You're going to stop fucking my husband, find a new firm to work at, and forget this ever happened. Deal? I mean, for what she's already done already, I, I would say that's a pretty good deal. She's giving you a way out. I, I would take it, because I don't think she's fucking around. What the F is your problem? I'm, I'm cheating on you, but what's your problem? Why are you so nosy? Let's see. What you get when you marry the devil of all Karens? Yeah. I, th I, I feel like he kind of was stuck once he started, you know? Yeah. Sounds great. Fuck off, you fucking cunt. Uh, 
Judges, was that the correct answer for this scene? And the judges say that is a no. That was the wrong answer for this scene. And now it looks like you're going to have to die. Well, thank you again for playing. And uh, we'll see you again next week for Cheater or Not a Cheater. <laughs> Why is she coughing? <laughs> she, like, started coughing right away. Like, that wouldn't happen. Like, you would start coughing, like, probably after the the attack. I think your adrenaline would be so, so, like high right now that 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 would be the last thing your body would be trying to do Ooh, that is one hell of a hickey bro look at that hickey oh i told you she was a succubus look it's a perfect circle who the hell bites like that a succubus never mind she's a vampire no she's a succubus why <laughs> you kind of mouth off like that? That is, ooh, I don't think you're gonna be able to go into the office for a few weeks with that thing. Ooh, she took a whole chunk out, man. She a skinwalker? Yeah, I mean, she kind of looks like it. I mean, without the clothes, she'd probably look just like a skinwalker. Put her in a forest somewhere with no clothes in the middle of the night, and I'd be terrified. Shit. Ah, I got it all over the carpet. No, oh, damn it. Oh, I got to rent that rug doctor again. I just, I just, I just took it back like two days ago. We got to stop killing people here. We need like a, like a kill room or something. I overdid it, didn't I? I mean, just, no, just a no, little, no, just a little. Not at all. No, no. She's, she, she's good. Oh, she's fine. You really want the extra mile on this one. I like how now he's dehumanizing her after she's dead, but totally was totally all about her when she was alive. You really want the extra mile on this one? Well, fuck. Maybe if you didn't dip your pin in her ring, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't dip her, dip your pin in her ink, like yeah, jeez, that's a, that's an interesting comment to make. Okay, okay. You just you, you couldn't just say it flat out. It's okay. I'm not gonna say it. You're right. I'm sorry. Listen, I promise won't ever. Look at that scratch, bro. If you ever go on a date with a woman and you see uh, claws like that, just know that you're probably dating the succubus Karen of all Karens, and you need to run. In fact, don't even bother running. You're probably already dead. Just go ahead and hot, hep, uh, go up to the top floor and and eat yourself off because uh, that's that's about all you've got left in life. Never happened again, but. That's not important right now. The only thing that matters right now is that we get her body downstairs. Yeah, that the, none, of, none of this is important. We just, just got to throw the body of my new girlfriend downstairs real quick. It's totally cool. And then we'll forget about all about this. Did you want to go out to eat? <laughs> Can we just forget that I cheated? Why? Like this never even happened. Yeah, you know, we'll just we'll, see. I said that we'll just we'll just act like nothing happened. I cheated. I get away with it. She dies. Everybody else suffers the consequences for my actions. That's how life works, okay? The fuck is so funny, man? Julie is dead. <laughs> She's all cracking up. How do you think we're going to cover this up? I'm sorry. Grab her body. I was, I was just thinking about our wedding vows and the till death do us part part. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a loophole right there. You, you got to say, uh, you know, I, I do I, I, I do take the, her to be my, my wife, my lawfully wedded life, wife to, to love and to hold and to cherish for all time up until and after death would try to keep us apart. You got you got to add the after clause or else she can just off you at any time. And then she's she's back on the market. <laughs> he is Lucifer and she is his wife. I feel like she's Lucifer and she's the wife and he's just little bitch boy. Go all flesh eater on you and that would really take her until death too. Never mind. Yeah. Like a whole new level, right? <laughs> right, right. She's funny, dude. I like her. You okay, buddy? You starting to realize that she also drugged you? Look at that face. That is she she still wants him. 
You know, that's a healthy relationship after all this time. She's still got the look of desire in her eyes. She is happy. You know what I mean? Now, granted, uh, their relationship isn't going to last much, much longer, but it was happy while it lasted. And that's what matters. So uh, I'm going to go to bed. See you, Daddy. Yo, Dead Zone 98098. Thank you so much for being here, Dead Zone. We love you. You have a great night. Boop. See you later. Oh, he dead too. Yeah, he totally dead. She's looking to she 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 signed that prenup, and uh, and now she's cashing in. Money, control your feelings. I think this is her feelings in control. Oh yeah, she says it right here. My feelings are controlled. I love her necklaces. This Mariner chain is so pretty. I'm not gonna lie. This one is a uh, box chain. This one's a really nice box chain as well. If you guys didn't know, I used to be a jeweler. Um, and, uh, and then this is the rope one down below. She, so she's got a mariner, she's got a box chain, and she's got a rope chain. I really like her setup a lot. That, that's gorgeous. Karen always get what they want. If they are the devil, father, even though they are. That is true. The four rings of death. Um... Oh, shit. He made a deal with the devil. Yo, Mr. Banana Pads. Welcome back. Good to see you again, my friend. Are you are you streaming tonight? Them chains, I know. Those are the chains of bondage. But she's about to free herself. Nice. Well, you guys, go now, say hello to Mr. Banana Pants. I found in that book we stole at the country club a possible way to turn me back to normal. The Book of Karen. But the book of Karen is a lie. There is no way to turn you back to normal. Once you are Karen, you are gone, and that's the rest of your life. Sorry, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Karen, there is no escaping the fate. This is you for the rest of your life. Every husband you get, you are going to be eating him alive until the day he dies, which is probably going to be within a couple weeks after meeting him. Oh, nice. Don't, Don't you want me to be normal? Maybe I just... I don't think that's what she wanted to hear. I, I don't think you're very intelligent in these situations, sir. You know, you should probably tell her what she wants to hear so you can get out of the situation. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. It might. Might. I have time for might. Well, I read the rest of the book and what I'm about to do should work. <laughs> I guess you have to steal the heart of your lover and eat it while it's still raw and beating and and then you turn back to normal. You're no longer a Karen. That's that's the secret sauce. What do you mean should uh Why did you <coughs> I gave you a topical sedative? Oh, so she put the sedative on her lips, and when she kissed him, um, it, 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 like, I guess, worked its way into her skin and absorbed, and now he's, you know, coughing. Because that's what sedatives do, especially one soaked in through the skin. Karen always get what they want if they are. Oh, father, have figured it out without breaking a sweat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stream about your life. All right, all right. Well, my life's almost over, so I don't know how long that'll last. You've got probably like three minutes left. It takes a little longer, but it's still effective. It is not as effective as she tries to make it sound. That would not work. I don't know what sedative in the world she thinks she gave him, but that would not work. Dude, they sold this clock at Target. Yeah, this is at Target. I wanted this for a long time. That looks really good. That just makes me want it more. I want this freaking house. I like this house. And the red couch is a good, you know, uh, 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 what should I say? Um, it's like, uh, I can't think of the word. It goes against the white and the black, and I like that. The devil, so it will work. That is true, that is true. Um, sedatives do what sedatives are, you know, like, um, what, uh, make you like, uh, like when you have to put an animal to sleep or if you're in the hospital, you, you take a sedative so that way you can, you can go to sleep and, you know, not feel the pain and all that kind of stuff. Um, but in this case it, it is to, uh, you know, 
render your victims useless while you bite their necks and create a giant gaping hickey wound. Look at that hickey, girl. This is why hickeys kill. Don't let anybody ever give you a hickey. They might be a vampire. Oh, 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 he's getting the worst of it. Look at her. How, how can you feel bad when she's having such a good time? I mean, this is like going to Disneyland. I've never seen anybody with such a big smile. That's the smile of a lady who went to Disneyland and was able to skip all the lines with her fast pass. I love you, Noodle. I love you, Noodle. That's a cute nickname. Do you, do you, do you call him that because because he's sloppy? Is that why you call him Noodle? Do you, do you call him Noodle because he's weak and and he flops around from woman to woman? Do you call him Noodle because he can't? Never mind. No wonder I saw a bite mark on my friend Daniel. That's, you gotta watch out for that. You better make sure that Daniel didn't get succubus It will not let me go live. No, I don't think it lets you uh, live stream other people's content. Good night, bye boy, bye boy. So what, she's got like chloroform on this rag? Yum, 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 yum. Bro, look at that. Now that's what I'm talking about. That last meal had nothing. This 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 looks hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Mmm. Age to perfection. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Is that what I think it is? Do not tell me this is what I think it is. That's not an eyeball, right? It's his eyeball. She's eating his eyeball. Oh. You know what I want to see her do? Um, kind of like uh, when you um, when you eat a cherry. I, I want to see her take the, the end of the eyeball and try to tie a knot with her tongue. I'd be impressed. She's not like actually eating it though. <laughs> no. She <laughs> ain't got no eyes. Why? Dang, he ain't got no eyes. I like how they, they didn't do a good job with the makeup here though. You can tell that it's a that it's makeup. Like it's so obvious it's makeup. That looks like a scrumptious dinner. I mean, look at everybody. They seem to be having a good time. I mean, it's a little quiet, but you know, she she looks like, you know when you see people at a buffet line uh, or in a buffet, that, that's what she looks like. She looks like she is going to town and she's about to hammer that out and get up and go get another plate. I mean, she's got plenty of leftovers. Oh man, <laughs> man about to become dinner. Um, yeah, she has. She's been eating these eyeballs for like ten minutes now, and she there, there's not a single bite on these eyeballs. I guess I guess these are just like you know, kind of like suckers. You just you just kind of you just suck on them. I wonder if that's how her eyes got that way. So wait, she is aware that we're watching. Oh crap! That means we're next. She just broke the fourth wall, bro. <gasps> She's looking at me. You can't get through this. It's hard as ceramic. She probably one of those monsters who had eyes. Yeah. Okay, I'm live. Noise. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want any part of that diet. That is a die. It. Because <laughs> you have to die for it to work. Not bad, though. Not bad. So as written, directed by LaShanta Wade. Executive producer, LaShanta Wade. Producer, Juan McGuail. 
Producer, first AD, Ryan Butler. Director of photography, Jeffrey Mostache. Senior editor, Charles Holbrook. Second AD, Tasia McGill-Taylor. Key set PAS, Renee Cordine and Jacob O'Hara. Set PAs is Alexis Cassis and DJ Dobbs. First unit camera da- operator is Jeffrey Mustache. His last name is Mustache. We've got second unit camera operator Marco Gutierrez. First AC is Elizabeth Gottschall. Still photographer is Christina Som- Somphony. Key gaffer is John Hose. Hoos? Hase? Hoos? I don't know how to say his last name. Heus, Key Grip, Ethan Becker, Swing Grip, Jeremiah Thompson. Okay, it's time for her to eat. I was wondering why she's crying. Uh, Swing Grip, Jeremiah Thompson. Script Supervisor is Mandy Spivy. Storyboard Artist is Wayne Loden. Special Effects Prosthetics is Jessica Silvaggio. Jessica, you need a little work on 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 the first, you know... Yeah, you need a little work on that. Although the hickey looked good. Every, everything else was absolutely fantastic. I will I will give you that. But the uh, scene, that needs a little work. Oh, and the, and the eyeball, the makeup, that might need a little work too. Um, art director props, Keisha Hood. Food stylist is Aries Doe. Uh, head special effects makeup hair, Becky Walton. Assistant special effects makeup hair, Daniel Onesto. Costume designer, Jake, Jackie Clark. Megan Lauren Molina. Julie is Lindsay Miller. Kyle, Roman Boylan. So Lauren Molina, I liked her. She was really good. I hope to see Lauren Molina in more stuff. Um, yeah, she was, she was really good. The other two were okay, but she stole the show, man. Um, boom operator is Lewis Perry. Sound mixer is Chris Crowell. Sound designer is Jim Rogers. COVID officer set medic. Wow, they had a COVID officer. They are legit, bro. Karen Crowder. They have a Karen. They have a Karen. And she's the COVID officer. That is like the best position you could have put a Karen in. Uh, the colorist, Valerio Morini. And virtual effects, Prakash Kumar. I love you, Noodle. <laughs> they knew that this was, this, that part was going to be good. Okay, so also I really suck at spelling. So yeah, if you see any mistakes I made, well, damn. That's okay. I will try not to judge you, but you're good. You're good. I don't judge for that. I make mistakes all the time. Felon, I think it is Mary Poppin or something. Um, okay. <laughs> but doesn't monster, wait, she probably one of those monsters who ate its eyes, but doesn't monsters are from movie. I forgot. And the monster doesn't have eyes. I think it's Mary Poppin or some. Hmm. I'm not sure. If you can find it, though, let me know. I, I would be down to do a review on it. Hey, Sons, can you please check out my stream? Yo, Sons, one, two, three, KK, what's up? Dude, always glad to see you, my friend. How is your day going? At night, day, morning, one of those, something? How are you doing today? Um, we are just finishing up here. I, I do apologize. I'm going to have to hop off stream. But... I will be back tomorrow for sure, and we are going to do more reviews. Um, I might play a little game tomorrow, but tomorrow I have to I have to get off at like 4.30, and then I have to wake up by 3.30 the next morning. So we may just do this, and then Monday after I get off, we'll probably play some games. Um, hold up, I'm going to see. Okay, so see, if you can't find it before I get off, um, bring it to tomorrow's stream. I will absolutely be on tomorrow, so I hope you guys are going to be there. I will handpick. Uh, five to six new episodes tomorrow and we will we will judge them we will judge them robin we are going to do the scp stuff here soon so keep an eye out for that dad jokes rolling out puns rolling out the buns are rolling out yeah oh yeah um but uh but did you guys have fun are you enjoying this new style of content if so if you guys aren't already on my youtube please go to my YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed already, just leave a comment there. uh, Leave a like. Help me get into that YouTube algorithm. The more likes and comments that I get there, the more that the algorithm will start to pick me up and the more people we will get into these chats. So that way we can have a lot more fun. It's it's it can be so awesome. We just need to, to get more people in here. Um, I will uh, try to open up a new channel called Stinky Cheese Reviews. I already have a new channel, so I'll probably use that one to do it. And I will be uh, cutting all of these videos up 
Eh, you see what I did there? And then I will um, post them individually on that channel. So you guys can go back and see the highlights. Keep an eye out for what? For the new channel. Uh, you already subscribed, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Robin, you, you could ignore pretty much all of what I just said. You're always on YouTube. You were helping me out a lot there and, uh, you already went and subbed to the new channel. Um, oh, and, and the SCP videos, I'm going to do SCP videos coming up here. So we will hop into those probably this week at some point, we'll probably do our first SCP video this week. Um, and, and it'll be educational. It'll be very educational. All right. Well, I, I guess that's the end of the show. Um, well, there are only six comments, so let's go ahead and take a look at the comments. Such a beautiful woman, isn't she, though? I love her. Fire, fire, fire. What horrible, weird eyes. Interesting. I'm going to leave a comment. They need something a little bit more uh, sustenance. Like, they only have 123 subscribers, but it was absolutely amazing. I am absolutely subscribing to these guys, hitting the like button, and I'm going to comment just like I would hope everybody would do for mine. This was wonderful to watch. I would love to see Lauren Molina act in a full length film. I am going to give you big props on set design. And uh, let's see, set design and plot development. There we go. I can certainly appreciate that this uh, short film did not try to, uh, I would say, try, uh, did not try to. Um, move too quickly through the story, but instead allowed time to get to know the characters, which in turn made it enjoyable to see the outcome. I really hope to see more content from you in the future. The more you do like this, the rest will fall in line. By the way, I saw that clock in the background at Target. Now I definitely want to buy it. Oh, and her gold chains are rocking. Okay, there we go. Bam. Characters. Uh, oh, I actually did want to add one more thing though. Hold down, let's see through. Okay, uh, plot development. Um, damn, it, what was I gonna add? You can tell I'm getting tired. Holy crap. Uh, hey, Lynn. Uh, wait, hold on. Found it. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Also, I love SCP so much. I know a lot about them. Well, then you should definitely join us because we're going to go through each one. I, I am actually, I want to focus on all of them and I think it'll provide us a really, really good series um, and, and a lot of content. So we will definitely dig into those. Um, okay, so everything else is quiet. And then let's see, what else did I want to put in here? Oh yeah, so, so everything from blocking to, uh, to set design and cinematography was on point. I will admit the book of Karen was a great 
touch as well. Now, now I know what the common denominator is among all Karens. I can certainly, okay, so I think that was good. I totally, I'm so tired. I didn't even spell it right. I knew I was spelling it wrong. Uh, all right, so Rocket. So this was a, this was wonderful to watch. I would love to see Lauren Molina act in a full length film. I am going to give you big props on set design and plot development. Everything from blocking to set design and cinematography was on point. I will admit the Book of Karen was a great touch as well. Now I know what the common denominator, denominator is among all Karens. I can certainly appreciate that this short film did not try to move too quickly through the story, but instead allowed time to get to know the characters, which in turn made it enjoyable to see the outcome. I really hope to see more content from you in the future. The more you do like this, do like this, the rest, the more you do like this, the rest will fall in line. By the way, um, I saw the, oh yeah, by the way, I saw that clock in the background at Target. Now I definitely want to buy it. Oh, and her gold chains are rocking. Yes, yes, there we go. All right, yo, that was amazing. I, I am absolutely impressed. Um, again, I will make sure to chop those up and uh, post those on my next channel. Guys, thank you so much for everything you do to support the channel and for being here. Again, make sure to hit up my YouTube. Uh, and if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the follow button if you're on one of my other channel channels. If you're on Twitch, you're more than welcome to subscribe, especially if you have Amazon Prime. It helps me out monetarily, so that way I can do more content like this for you. And maybe in the future, even, you know, start doing some of my own short horror films. So, you know, can't get anywhere without help. So this is me asking for help from my friends. Guys, I love you so much. I will see you tomorrow, and we will have more fun with these scary short horror films. Make sure you get some rest tonight. You're going to need it. And uh, don't leave your window open. We saw what happened when you do so. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much, and I will see you again tomorrow.